Uh, are we live? Uh, are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some Terraria. Uh, and in this case, I'd like to take a moment off of our main game. And we're just going to jump into Sandbox Land. And we're going to de-rust and demonstrate how to kill Duke Fishrun. Uh, without much in the way of gear. So, Rage Potions... Uh, this is pretty reasonable. I'm not going to use Featherfall Potions this time. Uh, don't need Spelunkers. Uh, all of this I can duplicate infinitely in this game mode, so hence dropping it so casually into the trash. Um, let's see. We're not going to have greater healing potions. Actually, I think we do have greater healing potions available uh, in early hard mode. Uh, we're not going to be using this. We don't have any loadouts, so I can easily switch this, unfortunately. Uh, we're going with Meteor Armor which is by far the highest DPS we can get super early in hard mode. We're gonna go with Crystal Storm. Um, we could re-roll it, but for the purpose of uh, demonstrating this, this is fine, I think. Mr. B Game, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, my max mana is fine. Uh, we're not going to have the warding fish run wings. Stinger necklace. We can't have avenging, uh, Avenger emblem. We're not going ranger. We need the shield. We could have Terra Spark boots. I don't know that the obsidian shield necessarily helps very much. Um... We could have a Queen Slime Mount, but let's suppose we just have a regular Slime Mount. Slimy Saddle. So this is our Mount. This is our Armor. This is our Spell, Crystal Storm. Uh, I'm sure we could spend a bit on reforging it before we go ahead and fight one of the hardest bosses in the game. Uh, Mystic? That seems okay. It's a start anyway. Oh, Masterful, I went past. I should have kept that. There we go. Masterful. Almost as good as it gets. Okay. I'm not going to use any minions. Um, I could go double... Stinger Necklace, but that seems overkill. Uh, let's see. We need accessories. We got the Terra Spark Boots, Shield of Cthulhu, a bit of damage. We need some easily attainable wings. Um, I don't actually have... The Leaf Wings you can buy from the... Uh... Oh, uh... Arc Arcalis Light Wings, I found out um, by accident. You can actually get these before hard mode, and they're incredibly good, but they're also incredibly rare, so we're going to ignore those. Um, frozen Wings. I mean, Leaf Wings you can just buy at the start of hard mode, but they're not actually available... Um, on don't dig up so I might uh, the, the thing is I would have to go out of my way to get some slightly weaker wings so I think this is fine for the purpose of demonstrating this I should have probably kept lucky violent is no good I need damage or defense plus four there we go have a dev world. That's an option that I didn't realize existed. 
Um, get this stuff out of here. Okay. Um, so we got Masterful Crystal Storm, Meteor Armor, Wings, Boots, Shield, a little bit of damage. Um, a Cross Necklace. I don't actually have here. Hmm. Um, okay, what should I use instead? It has to be accessible in early hard mode. Band of Regen? I don't even have Charm of Myths on this save. I was trying to uh, whip up a save in the new version uh, for testing this stuff, but it takes longer than you'd think. Unfortunately. Um, we're obviously not going to have access to Soaring Insignia at that point. Sorcerer Emblem, definitely. Uh, that leaves two slots. Um, I really would like the Cross Necklace, but I'd have to go get it. And we don't know when... A mimic is going to show up with said cross necklace. That said, I could always... Excuse me. Um, I could always make myself invulnerable and set the enemy spawn rate through the roof. Um, and we should be able to dupe Hunter Potion on this save. Let's go find somewhere where they're likely to up here very quickly. How about down here? What are we doing? Uh, we're throwing together some some early hard mode stuff and we're going to kill Duke Fishron over and over again until we're good at it. Partly to demonstrate how it's done and partly because I need to de-rust. Um... That's a lot of stuff. What I want to see is just a mimic though. Do I have a... let's use the flamer. That's a lot quicker. I'll use some later hard mode stuff until... Oh, this is the old version. I can't auto-fire the um, magic missiles at insane speeds. We've already got infinite trouble worms. I need to worry about that here. Um, I'm literally just trying to get a mimic to spawn, but it doesn't seem they want to. And T mod loader has a bit of a frame rate issue sometimes as well. Hmm. Oh, is that it? That's a mimic. Come on, give, give me the uh, frost necklace. I can't even see where it is at this point. There it is. Cross necklace, that's what we're looking for. Fantastic. Stream of loot. Beat the whole game on master mode, indeed. Are you playing hardcore or cheating? This save is cheating, we're just gonna... We're going to get together what we need to practice against Duke Fishron with no downtime. And then we're going to go back to our main save. Okay, so accessories, cross necklace. I won't bother looking for the cape. It doesn't make that much difference. Uh, and then we need one more accessory that we would have access to right at the start of hard mode. Um, preferably something that increases our damage. I could go for the Band of Regen. It would be nicer if we had Charm of Myths that reduces the potion cooldown. That's much more of a big deal. Um, I guess I could use the Obsidian Shield that I foolishly threw away. Immunity to knockback can make the difference. Brain of confusion, not good here. 
Uh, that's the one that gives you dodge randomly. Yes, it would be. Um, but I... Wait, do I have it? I don't have it on my other save. But I would definitely recommend using it normally. Yes. Or the worm scarf. Worm scarf isn't the worst idea. Worm scarf. We don't have worm scarf on this save. Um, for the sake of the practice, I don't really want the random dodge. Um, this'll, this'll do. It's pretty similar in overall power to what I've got on the don't dig up save. Give me plus four damage or defense, that's fine. Plus four damage or defense, that's fine. And plus four damage is what I always want on a specifically damaging item like this. Oh cool, we're doing... We're doing the um, solar eclipse when I'm trying to simulate early hard mode stuff. Cool, cool. Can we get plus four something? No? I'm getting scammed by this goblin. There we go. Menacing. Okay. Warding, warding, menacing, 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 warding, menacing. Seems a good. Uh, I don't think I've got a... Sundial, but we can just do this. There we go. Alright, uh, we definitely have the wizard if we're doing this, otherwise we wouldn't have crystal storms, so the clairvoyance buff makes a lot of sense. How do I still have 28 minutes on exquisitely stuffed? Oh right, golden delight. Okay, so we got defense, regen, defense, plus health. Uh, one of the plus damages, unless we're going to go to the trouble of creating the other evil biome. Swiftness, Night Owl and Shine doesn't really matter. Hunter Potion is kind of good, although you can usually see Fish Run just fine. Grav is very important. Greater Healing Potions, very important. Uh, and... Oh wait, we need an Auto Mana Consumer, because... We don't strictly need it, but it helps. It also increases your overall damage. Uh, let's see. Mana... Flower? Do we have any of the items that this upgrades into? Magnet Flower... Star Cloak... I'm pretty sure we don't have the Star Cloak. And we don't have the Magnet Flower, unless... Oh no, this isn't a, a material. This is the old version. But it's close enough for our purposes. I guess I'll just swap the Obsidian Shield with the Mana Flower, even though it's a little bit of a downgrade. Um, from what we would normally have. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do... Uh, where am I? Here they are, truffle worms. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is leave invulnerability on. And we're just going to get used to his movement. And after we get that down... Uh, then we're going to turn off the invulnerability and see if we can keep it up without mistakes for a while. Now, it's not enough to just keep dodging and keep our distance from fish run. We also need to... uh-oh. I should have brought the flipper potion. You can avoid going into the water like that, but it's nice for that not to be a deadly mistake when it doesn't need to be.
Um, but yeah, we... It's really difficult to do, but... It, um, it's not enough to just stay away from him and not get hit by him directly. We're also trying to manage when and where he puts his tornadoes down. Oh, that's a mistake. That would have cost me, like, a third of my health at least. Um, the number one... Th this part's basically just a marathon. But the number one part that you really do need... Well, not strictly need, but it's strongly recommended. Uh, the part that you really want to have the invulnerability for for practice against this guy is his final phase because it really is more a matter of knowing the pattern than having the skill to dodge. I am definitely messing this up. Let's get some lip uh, potions. Oops. So that if I fall into the water, it doesn't actually matter. Like that. We also want to avoid going too high. Uh, not just in Don't Dig Up, where hitting space is instant death. But if we go too high and start being slowed by low gravity, um, he's going to catch us. I'm liking this pattern a bit better where we do a zigzag when we go left. It just seems to be working out a little bit better than last time for the pattern of when he does his tornadoes. There goes my grab potion. Got to learn to watch out for that. Lots of multitasking in this fight. Oh, that's but kind of bad. Another tornado. That's going to be in a spot that's really not going to be a problem, which is what we want. Wait till he's doing another attack before changing direction. It really is a bit of a marathon, this fight. Especially with the early hard mode gear. But we're almost at the... Harder part. It's both harder and easier, because he stops throwing out these tornadoes that you can just get caught by. Um, but his pattern for directly attacking becomes a lot more aggressive. If at all possible, we want him to start this phase of the fight up in space almost. Because we want to be very... oh, that could have been bad. I don't know if I would have hit him there. Uh, we want to be very deliberate about the timing uh, for all of his attacks. I'm surprised he hasn't... What, what is his health on? I need to see. I can't see it here in this version. Duke Fishron. 14... 15,000 out of 76,000. I would have thought he'd have started his final phase by now. It's probably very soon. Yep, here it goes, I think. Nope. And now I need to fall faster. I shouldn't go that high. Especially on Don't Dig Up. Alright, here it is. One. Two. I missed the first one. One. Two. Three, one, one, two, one, two, three. 
one, one, two, one, two. I messed up the dodge, the parry. One, one, two, one, two, three. Very easy once you know it. One, two, three. I don't even really need the uh, grab potion for this stage, actually. It's probably a lot easier, uh, more consistent, I should say, to um, to do it like this at the end. One. Oh, never mind. Okay. Well, that's actually a good thing to to realize that last part. Um, we really don't, because the way I used to do it was think, if I can be falling away from him, I have way more space and time, uh, to dodge his attacks, but if we've got his last phase down that predictably, um, it's probably better to stay down here just because we don't have to worry about when to change direction, which is always a big risky moment. Um, I'm actually feeling pretty good about this already. It's just the consistency of not messing up the absolute marathon of the first part and getting caught by the tornadoes. I still don't have a pattern, like a consistent pattern whereby I can get him to drop tornado here and drop tornado here or something like that, which would be nice. I can't exactly run across the water because he'll be too fast. I need to be falling all the time um, to be able to keep distance with him. But maybe some... If I could do a big loop, tornado here, zigzag here, tornado here, maybe. We could try. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, this was on master mode, right? Enemy difficulty master, fantastic. Let's turn off the god mode. Double check, we got plenty of potions. Um, I might just kill these buffs so that it resets the timer. Uh, technically, we could have a couple of minions, but they really won't make a difference. And I can't be bothered looking for an imp stuff. I mean, just summoning it. Uh, but yeah, we've got the clairvoyance. Um, I could have the sharpened debuff, uh, buff, which won't help at all. I don't think there's like a plus health buff, right? Not a no potion, uh, not a non potion one. There's ammo reservation, mana, summoning, and sharpness. So I think that's basically it. I also wanted to try and get a feel for um, that sort of a suspicion that I had, and it, and it seems it's hard to. I, I don't exactly measure it precisely, but it does seem like gravity gets lower as we go up quicker on the Don't Dig Up seed. Ragnarok, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we're going to do Fish Run without the invulnerability this time. What's this to? Uh, it goes R. Oh. That's about it. Okay. We've got the basic set of everything that we could have access to early hard mode. We've reset our buffs. Nine minutes should be fine. I was expecting the Willem screen. <laughs> nah. Okay, I think I think we're ready to try for real this time. I 
and on the don't dig up seed, I want to go avoid going higher than like 700. Oh, that's a mis that already cost us a bunch of health. I didn't expect him to go to the other side like that. So I want to go a bit higher because there's currently a shark nado in play, and then try and pull him straight down here. And get under that next Sharknado. That was... Why are there two of them like this? I'm not a fan of that. So far, so decent. I wish the Sharknados would appear on the map. That would make this fight... Literally ten times easier. He should do another attack now. Fantastic. And down we go. And to the right this time, I guess. I guess I need to be a little bit less married to trying to make one exact circuit, because it just doesn't happen. And swap. And dash and swap. Oh, hello. Yeah, I guess we don't need to go all the way down. Swap. And check my 37 seconds on the grab potion. Good to know. Um, what I should be doing as well is starting the fight at exactly, or as close as I can, uh, on the hour of some, some time o'clock. Uh, and then I can just look at the, look at the time to know when the grab potion will run out. Instead of having to look at 17 different buffs. Grab potion's currently inactive. There we go. Oh, no, it just ran out. I thought I... I must have misread it. At least I was aware of it. Ow, 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 ow. Just gotta keep up this marathon without making two mistakes in a row. Well, not in a row, but fairly close together. And sometimes the homing bubble does that. I, I have no idea why. Um, most of the time, if it blows up right next to you like that, it does no damage, and sometimes it just kills you outright. You got this? <laughs> Apparently not. Yeah, I gotta be... I guess I gotta be a bit more paranoid about those bubbles. Um, the rest was going okay. What am I doing? Uh, let's teleport back to the ocean. Never beaten this boss, always died. It's very worth it. Especially considering just how early you can kill him. Um, alright, I think we're ready to try again. So I really have to just assume that those homing bubbles are always going to hit, unless I'm really far away. Which really limits our options a bit. It looked like they blew up immediately just now, so there's probably a there's probably a double tornado back down towards the center. I think it expired already. Uh, 
If I keep a bit more distance from him, there's one of the tornadoes. Uh, then the homing bubbles should have a lot more trouble catching us. Ow. That did less damage than I thought, but that was a really unnecessary mistake. That tornado could have made a less avoidable mistake happen. That's really uncomfortable. I've gone too high, because I'm practicing this for the Don't Dig Up seed. I think if I went that high, gravity would have been lower, and I wouldn't have been able to dodge as well. So really we want to get as far as we can from him, right after we hear that vomiting attack sound. This one. And hopefully that minimizes how often we run into a Sharknado. I also have- that would have killed me on Don't Dig Up. I have to avoid those stars. Okay, so I heard him do that attack. I'm getting as far away as I can. That actually seems to work really well. This is going very well, actually. Now we fall. And now he does that attack again, and I get as far away as po Whoa, whoa, grab potion. No, bad, bad. See, that time it did no damage, and it usually does. But sometimes, even when you're moving away from it at full speed, it hits like a truck. I think this, uh, this sort of movement pattern is actually working really well. Just get as far away from him as possible when he does that homing bubble. And cover as much ground as we can. Oh, that was kind of cheesy, how it caught up with us. Uh, I've lost track of where I'm up to. This is not good. It didn't damage us this time. I really don't know why, what the difference is. I've gotten a whole... The whole timing of the dance off now. He keeps doing that attack when I'm a bit further than a, a bit further away than I'd like to be. Is my mana gone? Oh no! All right, time out. Time out. Uh, let's see. Mana potion. Super Mana Potion? I don't think we'd have access to those. Greater Mana Potion. And unlike the new version, we can't stack a million. Okay. Let's get a little bit of distance. And turn off... Uh-oh. Uh, turn off the god mode. There we go.
That was kind of close. He's getting... Yep, here it is. Oh, I'm underwater. That's bad. I've lost count. One, two, three. Okay. One, one, two, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two. Ow, ow, ow. I didn't think the second attack would go that far. Oh, now my time is off for the second dodge. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, I should have. My first dodge there set me up to be hit by the second one. That was so close. I mean, it was so close to finishing on him off, but I made the critical mistake. Uh, I need to pay attention more um, at the end where he's about to start that phase, because I need to remember what we learned. We can just do it on the surface of the ocean. Um, alright, let's try again. Up the jungle. Got plenty of mana potions this time. Up we go. Get away as far as we can after that attack, and then swap. And here he goes again. Oh, I shouldn't have gone that high. Drop. Get as far away from the Sharknado as possible. And drop. Pull him all the way up here. And drop. I think I heard him do another homing. Yeah, no, that was the uh, the bubble spam. Can we go? I, I shouldn't have tried to go over the top there. This is fine. Uh oh. Oh wow, that could have hit me twice if I didn't have the cross necklace. It doesn't hit that hard compared to running into Fish Run himself. That tornado is a problem. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And down we go. Oh, okay. That doesn't... No, I think this pattern that I've settled into keeps running me into tornadoes. We don't want that. So maybe don't drop quite as fast away. And down we go. Grab potion. And down we go. There's a tornado way up top left. 
of the ocean biome. So let's keep going away from it. There might be a tornado back there, I don't know. Get away from the bubble, sometimes it does massive damage. Assume there's a Sharknado back there. There's definitely a Sharknado up there. There's definitely a Sharknado there. I can't get through here. There we go. Oh, that was close. That could have hit me randomly. That was dumb. That was that was very dumb. One big mistake so far. But we can weather one mistake at least. Ow, 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 ow. Getting close to the final stage. Not there yet, though. I don't want a tornado to... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I was gonna say, I don't want a tornado to deal with during the final phase. Maybe I'll stop attacking him. But then there's just another one. Never mind. Down we go. Here it comes. One dash, two dash, and three dash. Why didn't my shield block that? Oh no. One, two, three. One, one, Two. One, two, three. One, one, two. One, two, three. One, one, two. Oh god. If I didn't have the minimap on, I would have seen him appear behind me. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Okay, once more with feeling. Boot Fighter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is the Crystal Storm the best weapon available at this stage of the game? Against Fishron, if we're going for, like, early, early hard mode, I would say so, yes. Um, and that's what we're trying to simulate here. So it really is... It really is just the final phase um, that I have to get down at this point, I think. There's always... There's almost always a mistake or a bit of bad luck or two in the marathon phase, I'm going to call it. But we have some hit points um, to tank that. And we've more or less got a decent pattern down to avoid getting caught. Okay, so assume there's a tornado back there. Don't leave the ocean biome, get back into the air, otherwise we'll run into the tornado. And down we go. There goes another bubble. That's double tornado, I think. When they don't seem... when he, when he shoots two of them and they don't seem to chase you, I think it's going to be double tornado. So we need to go back up into the air here. 
hopefully run out the clock on those two tornadoes. I see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There they are. Down we go. That's still a tornado. I don't know exactly how long they last. I should really put together a uh, journey world on a don't dig up seed, because this is not quite the same. So far so decent. Actually, I don't think we've taken a hit yet, have we? Up we go. And up again. Actually, let's do a little zigzag and then back up. Don't forget the grav potion. Um, not a fan of those sharks. Good so far, that didn't hit us, thank goodness. That's another tornado, and that's a fish run. It's nice of him to always run into our crystal storm when we can't even see where he really is. Because he just keeps chasing us directly. Get away from me, bubble. Up we go. Down we go. Oh. That bubble is not a friend. Oh, that's bad. That could have cost us. Couldn't have done it that way. And we're actually in the final phase. I didn't even realize we were that close. Uh, it's definitely easier if we're falling. One, two... Uh-oh. Timing's off. One, two, three. One. Okay. See, your instinct right there when he is right in your face is probably to dash. But because of the timing, it would just throw you into his next attack. One. One, two. One, two, three. One. Two. One, two, three. One. One, two. One, two, three. Fantastic.
it's not that difficult, it's just very punishing if you mess it up. And it takes a long time to get there to, to practice it. Nice one, thank you. Tried looking up some alternative magic weapons, but the good ones are only available later in hard mode. Yeah, Crystal Storm is way ahead of the curve for when you can first get it. Um, for specific use cases, like this one is actually... It, it fits very well against Duke. I tr uh, specifically the one dropped from Fish Run, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, uh, Razorblade Typhoon is probably just by far the best all-round weapon, uh, easy to use for a very long time. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bite of my food here. Let's knock him off a couple more times before I try the real thing, which is slightly harder because of the don't dig up seed. I'm pretty sure it is actually a bit lower gravity, um, which is a significant... Oh, we also get uh, corruption enemies appearing occasionally and falling stars that one hit kill us, so that's fun. Oh, I'm actually about to run out of clairvoyance. Let's refresh. And re- oops. I was going to say refresh everything, but I didn't mean the clairvoyance. Okay, once more with feeling. I feel I'm using way too much space compared to what I'm going to have available with Don't Dig Up, but at the same time, um, I'm kind of practicing, like, mixing it up a bit, being able to improvise more, trying to f see the patterns in just what sort of options we have to control this fight. I don't know where those tornadoes went. I thought I saw uh, the bubbles come out. Maybe the tornadoes are a bit random. From the bubbles. In a way, that kind of makes it worse. But if we just assume the bubbles are always going to cause tornadoes... Um, that's probably the better way to... Uh-oh! How high am I? 8,000? Oh, that was the wrong number. I think it was like 800 or so right from the surface, which would have been dangerous and don't dig up, I think. But yeah, the marathon part of the fight is starting to feel as natural as walking, so that's good. Uh-oh. Sneaky. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My dash didn't parry him for some reason. Okay. Alright. Probably better if we don't do this at night, but then... Don't dig up is always at night, so what the hell. I can't run into those.
Definitely a good idea to have hunter potions, if only so that we can see the, um, the Sharknado sharks better. But I can't exactly spam hunter potions on that save. And again, we only have to kill him once for a high priority, a uh, high probability of getting a weapon that's going to make it much easier. Okay, 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 okay. Really bad timing on the grav potion that I wasn't paying attention to. Three-fifths of our health, at least. Really, you should just go complete... Um, complete glass, cla uh, glass cannon for this fight, because... You have to keep this up for as long as it takes to get his hit points down. And no matter how tanky you are, you're only going to be able to survive a few hits. Like, it is literally one or two hits um, that any amount of defense is going to make against Fish Run. With gear that you could have relatively early on anyway. Maybe Turtle Armor would make us... would give you like one more hit? Possibly. I didn't like having to go back up there, but it's fine, I guess. Going to space, that's bad. Let's get under the NATO. This is going pretty well, actually. All things considered. Good recovery from stuff going badly. One, two, I think? Yep. One, two, three. One. One, two. One, two, three. I can't quite parry the last one, maybe? Okay, now it's all, my timing's all messed up, I lost count. It made it look like it would have been possible to shield of Cthulhu all three of his shots. Um, but then the third dash didn't come out fast enough? I guess if I dash early and hit him at the end of the dash, the cooldown on the first dash might be sooner. Can I test that with a target dummy? I think I can. Target dummy. Uh, where am I going to put this thing? Okay. Can we get some light? Uh, as, as is light. That was jarring. Okay, so if we dash, 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 dash. If we dash, dash. Doesn't seem to have a shorter cooldown if if I hit it at the end of the dash. I think it's just difficult to do it fast enough to deflect all of his attacks in the final phase. Um, I kind of want to try just literally spamming dash. Um, let's cheat our way to the final phase. And... Do I have some more powerful weapons? Maybe? Uh, I have Razor Blade Typhoon. That's more than enough. Okay. So we're gonna get him down to the final phase. And then just try deflecting. Nothing but deflecting.
takes a little <laughs> takes a little time even with this uh, I guess the bow would probably be faster but maybe not if I'm wearing mage gear and definitely not when he does that we're almost there Okay, here we go. Let's get the tornado out of the picture. Get rid of the map as well. Okay, one, two, three. We can obviously deflect the first one. One, two. One, two, three. We can. I could just stand here, as long as I can keep my nerve up, knowing that if I mess up, oh, I got my timing wrong, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, two, it looks like it's not possible to do it too soon after each attack. I can just... Just spam inputs. Uh, if I don't forget how many dashes he's going to do. One, two, three. Yeah, if I just uh, mash the dodge input... I'm, what I'm really surprised by is that I'm actually able to get away with an extra dash if I forget. One, one, two, one, two, three. I'm going to try to do it too early. Without, like, messing up the first one. And yeah, I can't. I literally can't mess up the dash if I don't, like, lose count of... like that. <laughs> so instead of trying to avoid him, I should just focus on the dash input. One, two... why didn't that hit? One, two, three. One. One, two... One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, three. It would probably help if I aimed at him, but I was concentrating on the dash, just looking for the eyes. Okay. This is why we practice with invulnerability sometimes. Because uh, figuring that out without invulnerability might take about a hundred times longer. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we're about as ready as we're going to be um, for the real thing. Flopper Enjoyer, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice name. Alright, let's load up our actual save with Don't Dig Up, which is actually in the other version of Terraria, so... Here we go. Now for the real deal, indeed. I just hope there isn't something different about Fish Run on this seed or something. Um... Where, where, like, his dashes are quicker, or something like that. Okay, let's sort out our inventory. I've got a bunch of pirate crap. 
Um, where's my chest? F oh, did we just do the pirates for the first time? I think we did. So I don't yet have a gold... Here we go, golden chest. I'm going to keep all of the... Uh, what's the word? Uh, like bling, but you have contempt for it. Gaudy. I'm going to keep all the gaudy stuff in here. Um, all the pirate stuff, actually. So we can just quick stack it later. Don't care about any goodie bags. I'm really sad to learn that apparently we can't get the Clintaminator on this save. Okay, we got our bacon, we got our greater healing, greater mana, we got magnet flower, armored shield of, of Cthulhu, menacing sorcerer emblem, armored terror sparks, sting necklace. Uh, demon Wings, and Horseshoe Balloon. Did I not have a double jump for that when I was just practicing? I don't think I did. Normally, not having a double jump kind of throws me off, but I guess I have the rhythm for it now. Intrepid Star Veil isn't going to cut it. Let's re-roll that. So we've got cooldown increase on taking damage. Can I get a warding or menacing? There we go. Uh, we've also got the hallowed gear because I messed up a few times with the media armor. This is only slightly more damage, but more importantly, we can take a free hit from time to time. Um, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, but yeah, I think we're ready. Endurance, life force, wrath, magic power, thorns, mana regen isn't going to be relevant very often. I'd probably use that for a different fight. Uh, knockback's going to do nothing. Thorns is going to do basically nothing. Titan, get out of here. We need Flipper Potion. I've only got one right now. Uh, and we need Grav Potion. I've only got one, apparently. Better not mess this up. Hunter Potions as well. Uh, so Hunter, Grav Flipper. Health, food... Armor, life, damage, magic power for damage. I didn't even have this active for the last attempts, so it'll be a bit shorter. Uh, but yeah, that's about the best we can do. I'll also take calming potions because we want to avoid any uh, corrupt worm spawns if we can. Those are not helpful. Don't need this diamond hook anymore. And I th think that's about as good as it gets. Okay, this one counts. Wish me luck. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, we need to re-up our buffs here. Uh, we've got a couple of minions. They're not going to do a whole lot. But it definitely doesn't hurt to have them. Um, and I think this is actually it. Get away from the ground before it spawns enemies. Make sure there's nothing chasing us. And here we go. Oh, do I have... It would probably help if I had some... Some truffle worms, after all that build-up. Uh, where's the best place to find them? I think the only place to find them is up here. 
I might terraform this a little bit so it's a little bit less dangerous because it's really hard to get up this way and sometimes enemies block us off. Um, how do I get up there? Take the rail from this station? And away we go. Oh! Nasty. Um, I should probably fish up some more life force potions. I think I can make grab potions. So the first thing I want to do is farm up, say, 10 uh, truffle worms. Because we want to either be able to attempt it if we fail straight away, so we don't get rusty. And or we want to be able to farm fish run after success. Let's dig up this way. This is going to be a nice cozy spot. Give me that platinum while we're at it. Is that a truffle worm? I believe it is. Let's not have it flee. And let's not die to get it. Fantastic. That's one. Um, these sky mushrooms are a bit of a problem sometimes. Let's get rid of those. May as well grab some glowing mushrooms while we're here, but it's not like there's any shortage of those. Did we have a water candle here somewhere? Guess not. Wouldn't normally expect to see an antline mandible here, though. Hey, there's our armor polish that I stupidly got rid of before. Nice. Crystal Storm's really nice in tight spaces as well. Oh, I just... I was going to say I wasted my invulnerability. I think I got it back straight away. Hey, damsel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Started early, or is this because of daylight savings? Uh, that would be daylight savings, yes. I actually started at the normal time for me. Nice. Fantastic. Hey, it's Bonesy. What do you got for me? An aglet? I didn't know he just sold aglets. Um, I think I might still need one. Uh, no, we've already got the lightning boots for the, the spare... For the spare pair of boots, but I'll grab one anyway. Um, and he's not selling the lantern, so I'm not too excited about the rest. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Damsel, if you want to know how to... Uh, how to kill Duke Fishron with really early hard mode stuff, um, just check the VOD up to this point. Well, not... almost up to this point. So I've done my... I've done my practice. Uh, now we're just farming up some more truffle worms, and hopefully getting it right on the nightmare surface of don't dig up. How many truffle worms do we have? Three already, that's good. Oh, 
that's that's two more. Nice. Digging around to hopefully block off the corruption, indeed. Good idea. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. These minions are actually great for suppressing enemies. Don't expect much out of them in terms of damage, but they hit things. And most enemies get messed up by taking a hit. What are we up to? Six worms? This, uh... This layout is actually really, really good for getting worms to spawn. That's not a truffle worm. I forgot how good the magic missiles are now. So good. Hey, we got a banner for those annoying things. Mush, mushy ladybug banner. Get out of here. Oh, oh, no, there's a... No, no, no. Oh, I wasn't ready. I didn't see it. I wasted a truffle worm. Ravna. That's the whole reason we came here. Uh, give me some mushroom platforms. Why not? And maybe some stairs up here? Another depth meter. That took us forever to get the first one. A hey, Dilka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's another truffle worm. Gimme, gimme. I should put down some torches. Actually, it's really only where the the glowing mushroom glass grass hasn't gone yet that we have any trouble seeing things. Is this demonite? Yeah, it is. Hello, Tim. got eight truffle worms. Let's go for two more. Ow. Oops. Wasted my free hit. There we go. Uh, one more truffle. And hopefully our practice won't have worn off at all by the time we get there. There's our worm. Get in my net. There we go. Okay, quick stack. I actually did have some truffle worms, I totally forgot. The moment I reached for quick stack, I realized I, th I think I had some in here. Uh, but that's okay. Let's take our armor polish up here. And combine it with, I don't even remember what. Um, is it in this chest? I think it's the blindfold. No? Uh, a 
its vitamins and the blindfold combines with the pocket mirror and I can't remember how to get the pocket mirror. Uh, I'm sure we have vitamins. There they are. Okay, armor bracing. Fantastic. So now we've got... Um, the blindfold, the bracing, I'm pretty sure we've got the counter curse mantra. Fantastic. Uh, the trifold map. And I think the thing that the trifold map combines with, we don't have yet. Oh, we do, fast clock. Wild fast clock. Alright, the plan. And then I'm pretty sure we need one more thing to combine all of this stuff uh, with the obsidian shield. Oh no, it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Medicated bandage. I'm pretty sure we've got Bozar, but we don't have the bandage to combine it with. And I don't know how to get the pocket mirror. It looks like it was made of gold. Um, let's show the guide some platinum. There's quite a few things that can be made out of this. But the mirror is not included. Okay. Do we not have access to what time it is? Oh, not camera mode. I'm trying to turn this up. There it is. I want to use that to time our grav potions. Yeah, we just need the bandage, and I don't remember where it is. Okay. And we did already have an aglet spare. One, two, three, four. Need to make a little bit of room. We don't need more step stools. Just one. Shrimmering? I'm pretty sure we still don't have what we need to make the the combined boomerang. I need an ice boomerang, a shrimmering, and an enchanted boomerang. don't remember where I put those boomerangs. We've got ice. Oh, hey, we've got it. Nice. Uh, how do we combine it? With a workbench. Cool. Let's see what the trimerang is like. 24 melee damage. I think we've probably outgrown it already. Oh, is that it? I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed. It's literally just a boomerang that you can have three projectiles out for. As far as I can tell. Uh what if we find a target? Yeah, it's just it's just a boomerang times three. I thought it would do something extra, something cool. I mean, it's it's pretty damn good for how early you could get it, but still. Bruh. Not even piercing, indeed. I'm whelmed. Yes, I am precisely whelmed by the tri uh, trimerang. And I thought I was going to be a little overwhelmed. Izu uh, Seire. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's drop off this stuff. And... 
chuck that in there. Alright, I need to make some grav potions. I'm pretty sure we've got plenty of stuff we need to make grav potions. Blinkroot, Feather, Deathweed, Fire Blossom. Yeah, these are actually cheap at this stage. Fantastic. What about Flipper? Flipper requires Shiverthorn and Waterleaf. That's actually totally fine. Uh, we need some... What are they called? Prismatic Fish? Prismite? In order to fish up... Uh, in order to get some more life force potions. Early morning and Terraria. Good start, indeed. Alright, let's fish up some uh, prismatic. Did I... Okay, that's different from how I remembered having this laid out. But let's go fishing potions, sonar, and why not a crate if we're going this far? Uh, and we'll just use magma snails. I do have a bunch of master bait lying around somewhere. But this is probably fine. Alright, fishing gear. And try not to get lasered by a gastropod. Oh, and um, it would probably help if we used our buffs. Pearlwood crate, fantastic. I should probably skip the low quality fish. Bomb fish? I could take more of those. Oh, is that a chest? It, It is a chest. Did I miss that? Oh yeah, I forgot. We have to, we have to pay attention here because um, hallowed mimics will show up eventually. Gotta be quick on that switch back to combat mode. Princess fish? I guess we can also get a few souls this way. But really what I'm looking for is just prismatic fish. Uh, prismite. There we go. They really do take a moment to fish up, on average. Seaside crate? It seems like you can get, uh, it seems like you can get seaside crates anywhere in Don't Dig Up. I guess it's just a small mercy. We do always need armored cave fish as well. Also, I didn't know there was a demon altar down here. Can a world have two dungeons? No, it cannot. I can't even rem remember what princess fish are good for, which probably means they're not very good. I wonder what this other thing is then? I believe you're referring to the temple that's normally located in the jungle. Is it a- ow! Rude. Uh, Sitrazo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is that a... I'm, I'm... It's probably... Yeah, it's probably just a possessed armor, but whenever I hear that tink, 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 I'm gonna bet that it's a... Hallowed Mimic.
Princess fish is apparently for seafood dinner and love potions. Yeah, I thought it was something like that. And seafood dinner is horribly nerfed now. Um, we're really only interested in bacon for food at this point. In terms of stuff that we can get a decent stack of. Nine seconds left on the crate potion. Not really here for crates, I just thought I'd get a few as a bonus. And then we get another seaside crate. Crystal Serpent. Uh, this is like the... I don't want to say equivalent, but it's the hallowed version of fishing up a Toxicarp. Um, I think you can get it as soon as hard mode starts. Fishing in the evil or hallowed biomes. Uh, Crystal Serpent is a bit of an underwhelming spell. But, I mean, if you get this right at the start of hard mode, it, it's not bad. Oops. How many, um... We've got five Prismite. That's actually pretty good. Probably get like eight um, Life Force potions out of that. You know, I said I'd ignore the cheap fish, but it seems to be just as quick to... Ooh, Divine Crate. Uh, just as quick to get onto the next thing that we're fishing up if we just hoover up everything. This is when our fishing power is really high and we're not doing lava fishing. Yeah, it really is about the same amount of time. How many bass do you need? A couple of minutes or less left on the fishing potion. And it seems that enemies have stopped spawning because there's there's enough of them stuck around the edges of the screen. Um, that we're not going up past the current enemy count. Oh wow, the prismite. And I guess it's up to eight. Is that another unicorn? I should probably go get that. Doesn't it eat up the bait faster? I guess, but we've got functionally infinite um, magma snails at 35% bait power. And you don't go through bait very quickly um, when you've got the right fishing gear. Although, I guess we don't actually have a reduced chance of consuming bait yet. We got a chaos fish. I think that's just for making uh, random teleportation potions. Speaking of chaos, um, we haven't killed any chaos elementals. I think I seeded some area with hallow so that we could get some to spawn looking for the rod of discord 
I hope they made it less insanely rare. Alright, let's get this... Uh, unicorn horn. Let's pick up all this other stuff. Fantastic. And let's make some potions. Uh, let's see. Life force. It's in the void bag, isn't it? Right click to close. Right click to open. Void bag, closed void bag. Functions as an expanded inventory while open. May pick up overflowing items when open. Right click to open. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't seem to have the... Oh, it does. That's really cool. I'm almost tempted to just put all of my potion ingredients in the void bag. Fantastic. 11 life force potions. Uh, what else? Endurance. We're up to 13. Uh, teleportation potion is indeed the function of the chaos fish. I'll just double check it's not used for anything else. Um, get out of here. Chaos fish. It is basically not. Okay. Teleportation potion. Oh, we got two. Lucky. Um, so we've got Hunter, Grav, Flipper, Calming, Life Force. Yeah, we already checked this. We've got everything. It's just we increased the count of some stuff we were low on. 77 healing potions, 593 greater manas. Um, I could actually make super mana potions, but it won't help that much. Um, I think we can just buy greater mana potions from here so we can really make sure we don't run out. And the teleports can go in there. Okay, are we actually ready this time? I think so. Yeah, I think this is it. Uh, we've got double minions. We've got clairvoyance. We've got all of our gear set up for boss fight. We've got light, movement, damage, health, armor, Regen, Calming Potion, Grav, Flipper, Hunter, Food, Health and Mana Potions. Uh, let me just empty the Void Bag before we go. Seaside Crate. We got more Water Walking Boots. That seems... Th these seem to be way easier to come by than they used to be. Uh, we're not going to need Heart Reach, it's not going to help against this boss. And... Uh, Enchanted Sword. It's a bit late for that. It is a material though, part of the Ultimate Sword, no doubt. We also got a bit of Adamantite. Um, the black spot I definitely want to keep in here. Uh, sell the wizard hats. 
Get rid of the mushroom platforms, flying Dutchman relic. Quick stack. The gaudy stuff to the gaudy chest. I don't think we need another depth meter, but what's the harm in keeping it? Pretty sure we have enough flippers this time. Yeah. Oh, we can make another the plan. Rug flipper. Get in there. And now this is full again. Oh my god. Stop. Uh, sell this. Crystal Serpent, 58 magic damage. It's more than I thought. But... I don't think I'll be using it. Alright, sell this other crap. And... Quick stack, put away the adamantite. I think we've actually got more adamantite than titanium now. And I'm not worried about the mount. Okay. Let's get rid of any ads. Seems like we've got rid of the extra spawns. Time to try fish run. Okay. And we probably can't use up as much space this time. Yeah, it's definitely lower gravity. The gravity reduces at a much lower height compared to a normal, um, normal world. So we've effectively got quite a lot less space to fight him in. Oh, that's a tornado that we couldn't see until it's almost too late. And one more dash. like where that tornado might be. There we go. That's okay. Okay, the tornado is in fact in a really bad spot. Parried him with the Shield of Cthulhu. This is bad. That tornado is not so friendly. That worm's not so friendly. We're doing pretty well, though, so far. The space management is a bit more... significantly more oppressive than a normal... Uh, a normal map. But it's manageable. the ocean biome. That was a falling star. That's a sharknado. 
Oh crap, I messed up. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Ooh, that was kind of close. We're halfway there. Okay. Tornadoes are much harder to see. Also, my grab potion ran out at what was almost a really bad time, but it was actually quite good. Down we go. There's a tornado top left, need to bear that in mind. Sharknado. Down we go. This is a bit more stressful. Okay, okay, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. We've still got... we can still afford a mistake or two, but not right now. We're getting there. That's a nado. That go there goes my free hit. And over his head this way. Fantastic. I think we're gonna get there this time. We're definitely getting to the final phase. Stay calm. Almost there. That's a NATO. Oh, he hasn't taken that much damage lately. Here we go. One, two. One, two, three. One. One, two. One, two, three. We've got this. One. One, two. One. I messed up. Three. One. One, two. One. Two, three, get away from the projectile. One, one, two, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, three, one. We got it. Despite all the interference at the end. Okay, let's see if we got a razor blade typhoon. Really nice strat at the end, thank you. Whew. And we got a tsunami. It's not razor blade typhoon, but it's actually much higher DPS. We just have to aim. We also need to put together a ranged set now. GG, thank you, Warita. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we also got... I, I think every time we get the Shrimpy Truffle, which is a pretty nice flying mount. Okay. I also randomly got a Dark Mummy banner. Normally, I would go straight back into fighting him while we've got these buffs, but frankly... Uh, I need to calm down a little bit. Uh, but also we need to take the time to get ourselves a ranged set. So let's do that. We're going to go Toxic Up for... Sh not necessarily short range, but uh, spamming with good coverage. Tsunami. Uh, for, is our main source of damage. Uh, Clockwork Assault Rifles, kind of like whatever at this stage. I'll still keep the Laser Rifle, unless we've already got what we need for a Flamethrower for some piercing damage. 
Uh, we should have... We've got eight hallowed bars left. I can't make a helmet. So how did you know it would be one, two, or three attacks? It's it is it telegraphed? It's a fixed pattern. Yeah, it's not telegraphed at all. So if you go in and just react to things, um, like well, not necessarily react, but if you go in there blind to that pattern, you are quite likely to dodge what you think will be his next dash, and then he just doesn't do it. And then you're guaranteed to get hit by his next attack. Um, but once you know that pattern, uh, you can actually just deflect every single hit with the Shield of Cthulhu. Uh, which is a lot easier than trying to physically avoid it. Um, I'll keep the magic missile for utility always. Um, I want a flamethrower if we can afford it. Only eight souls of fright. I don't think we can. Uh, let's see. Twenty souls of fright. That's a no. Um, I guess I won't sell the Duke Fishron relic. Actually, you know where I want to put it? Not there. Uh, right here, because I think it acts as a light source. Is it a looping pattern? Yes. One, two, and then three. How did you learn this? Uh, you could probably look it up on the wiki, but I you can see it earlier this stream on the VOD. Um, I went in with invulnerability and just learned his pattern without having to go through ten minutes of fighting him for the privilege of having a look at it. Um... Let's get our Tsunami re-rolled to Unreal. How much does it cost to roll this thing? Practically nothing, considering this is like one of the most powerful ranged weapons in the game. Unpleasant is teasing me because I want Unreal. How's our gold? 2.7 Platinum? Unreal. There it is. 76 range damage. We're, we're wearing ma uh, mage gear right now, though. Um, and that's per arrow. And it shoots several arrows. Do I have arrows stashed away somewhere, or am I going to just buy them? Probably the latter, just so that we have one less stack of stuff to worry about. Uh, where's the shopkeep? I think we need 4k arrows to make an infinite supply of arrows. Yeah, 3,996, which used to be four stacks. Um, so give me those. Three and four. Uh, and I think we need the crystal ball to make it. There's our endless quiver. Um, but yeah, this is this is 76 range damage times what is it, six arrows. Uh it's pretty strong. Uh I don't really Feel the need to keep the pet. Uh, Hellfire Arrows... I'll just double check. I'm pretty sure it's Hellfire Arrows... Yeah. The explosive arrows don't hurt you, but the explosive bullets do, which is a bit weird. I don't think... Uh, I'd kind of like to have some bullets... Oh, I just realized silver bullets are, like, totally obsolete at this point. Unless they do extra damage to, like, vampires or something. I think that might actually be a thing. Let's just put them away here for now. 
Uh, and I want to make an endless musket pouch as well. Oh, you can just buy ammo boxes? Hell yes. That's so much nicer than waiting 600,000 years for the traveling merchant to sell them. Okay, there's our 4k bullets. Endless musket pouch. Uh, we won't be needing the magnet flower while we're playing ranger. Do we have a ranger emblem? I hope so. I think we don't though, because I think we got like four summoner emblems. Yeah, we literally got four summoner emblems before we finally got a different class emblem. So we need to do Wall of Flesh yet again, uh, looking for a ranger emblem. Does this... I would be very pleasantly surprised if this doesn't have a time limit. Oh, it doesn't have a time limit. That's so nice. It seems all the buff stations are just permanent now. Roro Lucid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's put away the Hellfire Arrows for now. Um... I don't really have a chest for ammo. Oh, I do, actually. That's a lie. Uh, gel and Fallen Star are also ammo, te technically. You can use the gel for flamethrowers. Fallen Star is for the Star Cannon, which is basically only good late free hard mode. Like, only once could it arguably be worth the effort of farming the stars. Probably for when he is using specific ammo for specific bosses. Uh, how's that? Do you need the ammo box when you have infinite bullets anyway? Yeah, no, this is just the backup. Um, so the best really easily obtainable ammo, arguably, is crystal bullets. We could also do Cursed Bullets. Um, cursed Bullets... Yeah, 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 let's go Cursed Flame. We're going to go Cursed Arrows, which is almost as good as it gets. Unless we can buy... I think you have to kill Plantera first, and the Witch Doctor starts selling Venom. Uh, you can make Venom Arrows, which are, I think is good as it gets for direct damage for bows. Assuming your target takes poison damage. Um, but we can farm uh, Cursed Flame extremely easily in this world. And we can't use the Crystal Shards for arrows. So let's make some Cursed Arrows. That's what we're going to use on Fish Run. Give me lots of them, please, so I don't have to... Worry about running out. Um, do I need an anvil? Or what what do I need? The cursed arrows. Uh cursed flame, wooden arrow, mithril anvil. Or arachalcum anvil, which is equivalent. Oh, here it is. I just didn't see it. That's 4,200 already. And we've still got lots of Cursed Flame left. Uh, cool. I think we'll go for like 10k, just so I don't have to worry about it. Arrows. And... Cursed Arrows. Fantastic. That's actually a whole stack. I don't normally bother using arrows unless I really want lots of damage. Um, so I might just put the Endless Quiver away for now. And bullets can be free, I guess. Uh, 
magnet flower can go in here. Crystal storm. We're not retiring crystal storm. Well, actually we are. Because we're going to keep killing fish run until we have razor blade typhoon. And then crystal storm won't be able to compete. Holy arrows might be an option. They're very good against uh, the destroyer, like the worm boss. Uh, but not as much a single target like fish run. Um, so I need to kill a mech boss to get hallowed helmet for the range damage. I need to kill wall of flesh for a ranger emblem. And... And, and nothing, really. Now I want blueprints in Terraria, right? It actually takes a lot of time to make, to, to do a nice build in Terraria. I think just for a change of pace, we'll go do the Wall of Flesh. I'm still wearing the mage gear, so maybe I should hold on to this. Grab the bee gun again. It's probably still... Nah, we've got Tsunami. I don't think the bee gun's going to compete with it. <laughs> but I kind of like to see. We'll just wear the mage gear and use Tsunami to kill Wall of Flesh. This is this is why I love Toxic Carp. It's so good against blocking. Uh, it's so good at blocking bats. All right, so we're here looking for a Voodoo Demon again. I guess I could make a Battle Potion as well as using. Uh, the water candle. We should be able to handle anything that the underworld can throw at us at this stage. Especially with Tsunami. I do still hate the graphical effect that shows when we can take one hit for free. It makes me think I'm like straining my eyes or something and gives me the instinct to try to correct it. Which would only make me strain my eyes, which would make me see poorly. Oh, that's uh, possessed armor. I hate these things. They're not fun to fight, they can be really dangerous early on in hard mode, and they make me think that there's a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, mimic, nearby. I get excited, and then there's no mimic. And not just mimic, it could be a, it could be a biome mimic, which is way more dangerous, so that sound warrants attention. Voodoo Demon, I'm out to play. What's this? It is a Lava Slime. We've got a Hunter Potion and a Water Candle nearby, and this is as many enemies as the game will throw at us down here. I think the vanilla game needs Zerg Potions.
Nothing but bats. It does seem to be a lot harder to get voodoo demons now. sudden it's spawning a lot more devils. I wonder if it's because it's daytime. It's actually 4.51 right now. It's been technically daytime for 20 seconds. That actually might be it. seeing way more demons all of a sudden. Well, that's uh, that's a bit of information to tuck away and remember for later. Although, it could just be a superstition at this point. But, no, judging by, judging by the number of demons we're seeing all of a sudden, I really think they maybe just don't spawn at night. At least not on this seed. So if we want to travel more easily earlier on, we travel at night down here. We've got a traveling merchant. Um, I'll go see him as soon as my hunter potion runs out. I should probably update the... Uh, title. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Don't dig up part six. Fantastic. Oops. been looking for a single voodoo demon for how long now? At least five minutes. I kind of like how on this seed the lava slimes on master mode don't drop lava. It's just a small convenience. Oh, that's a... Uh, never mind, I thought it was a gimmick for a second. I love how the bubbles just fill the air as well. With projectiles that are only dangerous to the enemy. Got a flower of fire. Not very exciting. 121 magic damage that Oh, I don't think this used to have this high of a DPS. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a lot. 
does it pierce? I need to test it. Let's get rid of our twins. It doesn't pierce. That's not that good. I think we already had a lava bat banner. No, nope, it was the slime. Oh, uh, I said I was going to talk to the traveling merchant. We can find him. There he is. Just found another major improvement to all stats. Nice. You get a lot of burgers on this seed when you go upstairs. Ooh, we got the Zappinator. Fifty gold. I don't see why not. Let's use the Zappinator for, for the moment. Why not? Not a burger, something else? Uh, where did you get it? This uses quite a bit of mana. From the ice. So what kind of food was it? Pizza. I can't remember what enemy drops pizza. was a hoplite. Okay. Yeah, you're not gonna... You're generally not gonna spend that much time in the, um... What is it called? The marble biome. So you won't see that many pizzas. Can we get one voodoo demon? Like, ever? Pretty please? I, I literally just want... I, I just want the class um, emblems, that's all. Apparently we can't find any kind of demon other than red devils. I did see some regular demons before, so I know it's still possible. But still. I've never seen a demon statue from the, the statues that can spawn enemies. I don't know how I'm supposed to find voodoo demons. What if we go left and right? Is that going to somehow be better? I see a de Oh, that's a mimic, actually. And we get another Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, that's just a regular demon. We're not we're not excited about this one. But it does seem like moving around was helpful, I guess. Could be superstition though. That was a big chunk of chlorophyte. I wonder if this seed gives us more chlorophyte. Or if it's just, uh... More common now. Like, it'll spread more. Yeah, 
It has been literally almost an entire Terraria day. Um, and we're still looking. Which... Oh no, wait, it's been half a Terraria day. Dope. I was gonna say... I guess the demons do spawn at night, and then I realized it's not night time. I haven't actually explored this far yet. Let's get some stuff while we're at it. Double shadow chest? Um, I don't actually have... Oh, yes I do. Fantastic. We got an Inferno Potion. Uh, those are arguably useful against Fishron. Since the bubbles, the bubble projectiles literally can't touch you. Because they die in one hit. Is that a fairy? Oh, uh oh. Let's get out of here. Was a fairy. To reflect all those arrows back at me. There we go. Oh, this is our first... No, it's a hallowed mimic. I thought it was a corrupt mimic. Crystal Vile Shard. Didn't we already get that from fishing? Another one? Okay. How about you? Close up soon, maybe. Oh! Don't forget, it can two shot us. Let's get away from that other demon as well. Don't need that distraction. Is it dead? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Sneaky. Don't drop your stuff into the lava. We still got it. Another illuminate hook. I've killed like four or five hallowed mimics and still no Daedalus bow. And about a million red devils and still no... Um, Still no more voodoo dolls. Okay, open magic power, sure. Open. Alright, so we actually found the edge of the map, and it's... The edge of the map actually has a demon town in it. Weirdly enough. I really wish summoning the Wall of Flesh didn't depend this heavily on RNG. Um, I'll probably put the Clockwork Assault Rifle away for now. And... For 
Philosopher's Stone. Go over here, unless we've got Band of Regen. Fantastic. Oh, Magma Stone. Have we already done everything we need to with these? Fire Gauntlet and Molten Quiver. That's a no. Uh, but we've got two of them stashed away, so I'm just going to sell this one. Let's put the Zappinator away. And Hot Dog, I guess. What's in the Void Bag? Uh, I think we've already got a bunch of spare treasure magnets. This isn't a material. It is not. Neither is this. Okay. And... Where are we keeping our potions? Our occasional potions, that is. Is it in the piggy bank? There we go. I may as well just explore to the left. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Chlorophyte can grow a lot more aggressively now. So why don't we go ahead and take some mud and expand our little Chlorophyte farms down here. as well explore some more oh is that is that mud yeah I think it is um, but yeah we're gonna look for more um, voodoo demons and we're gonna explore to the left while we're at it Away we go. This is actually a very large body of lava. And that is an unusually placed shadow chest. Oh, I must have quick stacked away. I must have a, sh a spare shadow key somewhere, and I quick stacked it, so now I don't have it. I'm pretty sure we've already got everything we want from shadow chests, but still. That's Demon Town. What time is it? 10.37pm. So they're probably not spawning. Uh, what should I do while I wait for morning? We want a Ranger Emblem. Uh, and we want Hallowed Bars. Twins should be the easiest to kill. We're also short on Souls of Sight. I want the Flamethrower though, so let's do Skeletron, Pla uh, Skeletron Prime. We need some iron and or lead. We need bones. And we need probably Souls of Light and Night. 
which we do have. There we go, mechanical skull. Cool, let's go to the surface. And we'll probably fight him at the ocean. Should be fine. Oh, this isn't a light source. Never mind. I'll just use the bow, even though we're mage right now. For when we have... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, for when he does this, so we can get lots of damage on his face. I am messing this up. Let's get away. There's a lot of distractions over here. Okay, okay, apparently I can't even... Really? And I actually reached for Potion of Return, but it wouldn't switch weapon. <sighs> One little random-ish hand getting in the way, and I couldn't get past him. Uh, I guess I have to craft that again for the privilege of attempting that boss fight. Let's go with metal... bones... And souls. There we go. And we lost some bacon as well. Let's get our buffs active. There's fewer sky islands over this side. If I go too high, I'm literally just dead. There's too many enemies spawning here. I should probably start on the right, uh, start on the left and go right. Oh, he's in the ground. Lovely. And I can't get away from him this way. Okay. Did he despawn? No, we're good. Gotta keep our distance and then get him to fling too far past us. What? what serious? Uh, I was literally just about to say this is going well, but then one random laser just knocked me back. I guess I should use the obsidian shield for this. Let's drop the horseshoe balloon and waste even more resources. Cool. Do I even have enough souls? I need three of each, so yes. Uh, at least we didn't die this time. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The low gravity um, and extra enemies spawning everywhere, plus the sky, the, the space being death, really doesn't help, to say the least. Why does it send me to the right, even if I'm on the left of center of spawn? 
All right, let's waste even more buff potions and Skeletron. Oh, what? Wait, what? Um, was I or was I not using the obsidian shield? Obsidian shield grants immunity to knockback. Uh, apparently it does nothing, actually. Is it because I dashed into it with the Shield of Cthulhu? That might be it. Okay. Here we go again. Do I even have enough? I have to go hunting for souls. This is normally such an easy boss fight as well. I just want like five hallowed bars, that's it. Maybe I should do the twins instead, but I want the flamethrower. I can't believe that's actually like harder than Duke Fish run. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go, Soul of Light. It, 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 it's not harder overall, it's just there's these moments where he catches you. Where the hell am I? Oh, here we go. So... The Obsidian Shield could still be relevant. Trouble is, if I dash into him, it doesn't really accomplish much. Can I move, please? There we go. I should keep my distance from him more. I don't think he's prone to despawning too easily. dash into his arm, even if it's going to keep us from taking damage initially. Let me move! Oh my... I wish you could just turn off the attack part of the Shield of Cthulhu dash, because I think there's only other two options for dashes in Vanilla, and that's Crystal Assassin Gear and uh, the Master Ninja Gear. I don't particularly want to do the um, uh, the Queen Slime on this seed, and Master Ninja Gear is a long way away. How did I kill him last time? I guess I must have, like... Did you stop? I guess I, mu I must have, like, zigzagged through the air. Just kept away from him. You'd think with the tsunami it wouldn't be that difficult, but he doesn't die so quickly. Um, alright. Even more souls. I can't believe how long it's taking just to get, like, two items together. So we can go do fish run again. 
still haven't found a single voodoo demon in like two Terraria days. What time is it? 9.40 a.m. Maybe I should get back to that. Give me some souls first. I need three, I think. That's one. That's two, actually. We also don't have Daedalus Bow, which would actually be great against um, Skeletron. Despite killing 600,000 Hallowed Mimics. That's a shark. We can find a shark here. So... They're actually just incredibly rare. It had nothing to do with the jungle. Fascinating. It's down here. That's actually the edge of the hello. A natural barrier, it looks like. Okay. Uh, we did get our three souls of light, so let's make this stupid thing for the 600,000th time. Uh, I need some souls of night as well. some metal. Uh, what am I missing? Shouldn't there be bones in here? There we go. Alright, back to the demon town. Looking for the ridiculously rare voodoo demons. a regular demon. That's a tease. Where's my double jump? Oh, that's a voodoo demon. It's about time. Okay. We got Rainbow Rod, we got Tsunami, we got Hallowed Armor. Let's go. Oh, I actually missed. Could, could you be persuaded not to distract me in this moment? There we go. And I'm not going to mess around. Let's get some magic power potion for the damages. spot. Wait till he gets there so we can actually hit something. Never mind. Hmm. 
He hits for 22 with the lasers. It's not a whole lot. Alright, let's get serious. That didn't take long. Alright, please tell me that's a ranger emblem in here. And I broke the blank through. There we go. Ranger emblem. We actually got it. Fantastic. Ranger emblem and a clockwork rifle in the same uh, drop as well. Not that we didn't already have the clockwork. Okay, so we're gonna reforge. I actually really thought I'd have to kill him more than once. Reforge that to menacing. Uh, warding's not the worst. We do get a bit more armor as ranger. I could hold on to this. We could maybe get another one if I want menacing. Let's put the sorcerer emblem in here somewhere. Where is it? Where am I keeping my emblems? Here we go. Uh, we don't need another wand of sparking. And if we're going to use Tsunami, we don't need the Magnet Flower. I don't think the uh, Stinger Necklace is doing much at this stage. But I don't have a whole lot of accessories to pick from right now. Let's go with the Obsidian Shield. Cool band name. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, last time I'm going to try to kill a uh, Skeletron with this gear. Can Wall of Flesh spawn its little box O drops in your builds, or does it always look for free space? Uh, it could be like on top of the builds, but it's not going to like wreck your stuff, it's just going to put additional Demonite bricks in place. Um, so that the stuff doesn't fall into the lava. Alright. This time, let's not screw it up. Where is he? Let's just keep our distance and do the zigzaggy thing. Oh, he likes to, like, cheat his way to the other side of us. Alright, we're one quarter done already. Don't run into the ground. He really doesn't do that much per hit, it's only when we get stuck that it's a problem. I almost dashed into his hand, that actually would have been a disaster. Get him to run into some falling arrows if we can. 
There we go. I don't know how I had that much trouble with him. Must have just got unlucky with the positioning. Okay, there's our hallowed bars, which means we can actually get a ranger set. Uh, we've got the headgear, we need the helmet, and I'm pretty sure we have enough bars for one more. We could do melee or we could do summoner. But that's the end of fighting Skeletron for now. We've got plenty of Souls of Fright. Let's get our Flamethrower. I think we need Souls of probably Night as well, I hope. And maybe some torches or something? I don't know. 20 iron bar illegal gun parts. Okay, give to me some illegal gun parts. Luckily we found them at night time. And that's a flamethrower, which is excellent. Whoa! That looks different, and frankly better. Uh, very, very good at multi-hitting lots of enemies and or segmented enemies. Okay, may as well put that with mage gear. Alright, so we have uh, set bonus, become immune, increase did I just put the ranger set away? Okay. Don't scare me like that. 15% uh, increased range damaged, 8% ranged crit strike, 7% increased crit strike, 7% increased damage, 8% movement. Uh, and of course, very important, become immune after striking an enemy. So this is our good, as good as our deeps get for the moment. Time to kill fish run again, hopefully much more easily this time. And look for razor blade typhoon and fish run wings. Why couldn't it be the one that meows when used? Because that was, uh, what's it called? Uh, Calamity mod, I think. Albion light, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You know what? If um, if the buff is permanent, why don't we get a sharpening station as well? Well, then again, I'm using literally zero uh, melee weapons right now. Whatever. Why do I have the B gun here still? Probably because I was considering using it for the Wall of Flesh. Um, let's get the Flamethrower buffed. It probably still gets a range increase if you get plus velocity. Oops. Oh, I could have checked with the negative velocity there. Plus 10% speed. I think that's rate of fire. Rapid. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's further. Ignores 15 points of enemy defense. Since when? Uh, anyway, let's reforge until we get... It's actually kind of expensive to reforge this. Uh, I'll settle for deadly. That's fine. We don't use it that much. Okay. So I think we've got everything we need still. 
to fight Duke Fishron. I've wasted a lot of life force potions in those boss fights too. Alright, let's get ourselves a uh, Razorblade Typhoon. Could you be persuaded to stop? Thank you. No? Are we done? Alright. That's, that's a terrifying star of doom. There we go. And away we go. And try not to die. With our much smaller sky arena than on a regular map. We're, all, we're already a quarter done though, so the amount of time that we have to keep this up is way less. Oh, that's bad. I got trapped by the tornado and made a questionable decision about what to do about it. And we're already halfway done. Fantastic. I, f I forgot to double check my accessories. but not really. Oh, this is bad. Lost my free hit. That's not so bad, actually. Oh, that's... There's too much on the screen. I can't tell what's going on. One, two... One, two... Oh! And that's the DPS of Tsunami. I completely messed up the end, but we killed him fast enough for it not to matter. I didn't know how many times he was going to dash. And we got another tsunami. Are you serious? Really? Game? Really, really? So that was actually pointless. That was actually pointless. We got nothing new out of it, and we've already got Unreal Tsunami. Okay, let's do it again. Don't really need a hunter's potion, we can see him very well all the time with cursed arrows. Then again, the Hunter's Potion would show the Sharks. That's not nothing. Oh, that's bad. Okay, my Buff Potion ran out at the wrong time as well. There we go. Is he gonna come? There we go. a bit inconvenient. Didn't even get hit, actually. He's down to one-third. This is why we use the flipper potion. Almost at the final phase. Ouchie. Here it is. One, two. Yep. One, two, three. One. One, two. One, 
two, and three. One, two, fantastic. All right, tsunami. I mean, not tsunami. I asked for the wrong thing, but we got the tempest staff instead of wings or the razor blade typhoon. Uh, let's swap out our minions for better ones. Well, not strictly better. Um, the DPS on the Tempest stuff is much better, but the coverage might not be as good. But considering how far in we are, it's probably better. All right. Once more with feeling. Can we get a bite? No? Oh, oh my god. Can I not? There we go. No? I think I missed it. We've got 20 seconds of darkness as well. There we go. This is why we farm up like 600 uh, truffle worms before we fight him. already one third down. Lost my free hit because of the Sharknado. Should be up again soon. Sharks. Should be at the final phase before we hit the ground. Fantastic. One, two. The first one was off screen. One, two, three. Fantastic. One, two. And one, two, three. There we go. Beautiful. And we got Flare on. We've got literally every drop from Duke Fish run, except for the ones we're looking for. Flare on is pretty damn good, though. Um, it's actually quite good against Fish run because of the way he chases you. And I'll have more defense if I go melee, but then we don't have the... Uh, the ranger emblem is kind of pointless. I could go back and make a hallowed, like, melee helmet, but yeah. Unfortunate. Alright, let's try yet again. Fantastic. Uh, 39 seconds until my grav runs out. Bear that in mind. Oh, I messed up. Uh, I messed up. Okay. That didn't even cost any health yet. Oh no! I was looking at my grav potion timer, and then I looked back and it was too late to dodge. Okay, that was a waste. Two platinum? I dropped two platinum. Jeez. Okay. Um, we don't need a second tsunami, but as difficult as it is to get, I feel like holding on to it. Let's put the optic staff away.
And summoning things can go in the safe, I guess. Um, let's make a weapon rack. And we'll put the tsunami on that. Fantastic. What is this? Cat sword. Fascinating. Okay. We've still got almost 9,000 cursed arrows. Um, you know what, now that we're here, make the flare on. Wait, what? Hallowed mask. How much defense do we gain? Fifteen. That is not insignificant, but I wonder how much DPS we lose. Still got all of the same buffs available. So let's just go for it. Uh oh. Uh, I don't feel like he's dying quite as quick. But on the plus side, I don't have to aim. Just concentrate on dodging. And run into a tornado that I couldn't possibly have seen. We're one quarter done already, so the deeps aren't that bad. Because he tends to run into every single bubble. Most of the time. I'm being a bit careless at this point. I really should use the bow, this is taking too long. The longer it takes, the more likely we are to run out of luck. He just came from across the map. Three. One. One. Two. One. Two. Three. One. One. Two. There we go. It was only the other threats that were a problem, really. Alright. Razorblade Typhoon. We actually got it this time. We still need the wings, but uh, now we can go back to mage if we so desire. Uh, I think I'll put razor blade here and tsunami here. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's grab those souls while we're at it. Casually one or two shot the uh, the eaters or the devourers without aiming. All right, let's grab our mage hat. If I can remember where I put it. Magnet flower. And I probably should be using the Star Veil, to be honest. I actually can't decide. Considering how rarely we get hit, 
And it's all in one big impact by Duke. This is probably better. Alright, let's re-roll the Razor Blade Typhoon. That's our top priority. And if we have any gold left, we'll re-roll the Tempest stuff. Masterful? We can do better. It's not that expensive to re-roll this. I mean, it kind of is, actually. Godly. That's a slight downgrade from Masterful. Uh, okay, I'll take the Masterful for now. And we still have six Truffle Worms left. Let's go do it again. All of this debris is making it very hard to see if there's a projectile coming. Alright. So we don't have to aim anymore, that's nice. Uh, game, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, the DPS is similar to the bow, but we don't have to concentrate on aiming this one. It also deletes all the bubbles without even stopping. Oh, that was a bad choice. Hmm, I think I still should be using the bow, to be honest. Oh, and I forgot to put on the Sorcerer Emblem, I think. stage. One, two. Yep. One, two, three. One, one, two. One, two, three. One, one, two. One, Two, three. It's hard to see where he is. One. Two. How the? F what even happened? How did I not dash into him? What? That was like routine at this point. How the hell did that hit? I really don't understand what happened there. Apart from the poor visibility and there's often some distractions other than the Duke himself at that stage. And there weren't any left at that point. It was literally just down to going through the motions of dashing into his face every time. I honestly don't know what it whether the dash didn't work or something else hit me. Genuinely have no idea what just happened there. Um I should make another hallowed set just so I can switch to Ranger with one button. But I guess let's do it this way for now. 
Ah, okay, we've got five truffle worms left, and we're still looking for the wings. After like seven, well, maybe four or five. I think it was like, yeah, probably like five duke kills so far. I need my buffs first. Minion, mage, range, and melee. These uh these minions are very aggressive actually. All right, let's let's go for the millionth time. Could you please drop wings this time? Wait, don't tell me this seed just doesn't let him drop wings. I don't know if I could live with that. Oh no, not a fan of that. Let's go under the tornadoes. Fantastic. Let's not die to the star. Oh, this is actually bad. That's a little awkward. And back to our usual pattern. More or less. Don't hit me. Almost... Yep, that's the final phase. One, two, I think, yep. One, two, three. One. One, two. One, two, three. Fantastic. Okay, this time there's wings. Those are not wings. Uh, let's do it again, I guess. That's the wrong weapon. Don't want to fall into that star. There's another star, I think. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. There we go. I don't want to waste a healing potion yet. Didn't quite take enough damage. Halfway done. Fantastic. Good timing. Don't hit me, falling star. Fantastic. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Right after another star as well. How many stars do you need? Are they more common at night or something? One, two, I think. One, two, three. One. One, two. One, two, three. There we go. I gotta make sure to spam dash as quickly as possible the combo ones. Yeah, 
It is, is it my imagination or are there just lots and lots of falling stars right now? One fifty-five a.m. Do they not fall during the day? I'd be surprised if they didn't fall during the day. All right. So this has to be our wings, right? Right. It could only be our wings. It is not our wings. And that's another falling star. Oh my god. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Got a couple of minutes left on the grab potion still. Alright. We go again. Another falling star. 3.04 a.m. I was going to dash into that tornado, but the, uh, the bounce off from the shield of Cthulhu hitting a shark actually saved me. Where is he? That's bad timing. Potion ran out. That was almost very... Okay, okay. Can I salvage this? Probably not, actually. Ooh. I... I was literally just going to say I should have died there. And then... Random Sharknado that I couldn't possibly have seen coming. Uh, but more importantly, we still don't have Duke Fisher on wings. We've gone through, like, ten Dukes, including a couple of losses. And we do not get the wings. Uh, I'm beginning to wonder. I'm going to check Terraria Wiki. Uh, Fishron Wings. Wings. Here they are, fish run. I don't suppose the wiki would tell us yet if we simply couldn't get them on this seed. I don't see any mention of don't dig up. Does it tell us if we can't get the leaf wings? Because it seems like we can't get the leaf wings. Sold by Witch Doctor. It just doesn't mention if you can't get it on Don't Dig Up. Interweb say you can still get wings in Don't Dig Up. Doesn't say it any... The horrors have arrived. Oh no. Um... Did you stop? I'm busy. Okay. Okay. They actually have insane hit points. But it would help if I didn't have my ranger hood equipped. I guess we'll just use arrows. Because they're not going to give me two seconds um, to swap gear. We've got 7.6k arrows, it's probably okay. I wonder if we're not going to have Mothrons on this seed. We're getting vampires, so I would kind of think we would. Lol. Just get stuck in the lava. Oh, 
Oh, they actually got out eventually. I'm actually surprised how weak the uh, Razor Blade Typhoon is. Even if I don't have Mage set on at the moment. Did I put it in my... Uh, piggy bank or something? I did. Okay, we're mage now. That's a little bit better. Won't spoil it, but leaf wings are sold later now. Oh. So is that for every seed? That's a Frankenstein. Ow. This is a better place to fight them. I need a better direct damage weapon for Mage. What would be... What do I have to kill next to get that? Did they nerf Razor Blade? I feel like they nerfed Razor Blade. Like, a lot. Like, maybe it does half the damage now. Or maybe it's because it's the Solar Eclipse and I've only got Hallowed Armor. But no, I, you don't get that much bonus damage from later Mage sets. It really does feel like they nerfed it. They didn't nerf the Tsunami though, I'm pretty sure. Looks like a version change across the board. Okay. Oh, it's you. Ow. I thought that would suppress him. Oh my god. I can't believe we've worked that hard to get Razor Blade Typhoon, and I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's not nerfed. I just forgot what it's like this early on, or something. Considering how tanky these things are against Tsunami, maybe they're just tougher in this seed or something. Or I just forgot how strong they are. Um, it's only 10am. This thing lasts until 7pm. That's actually really, really effective. Maybe I should go melee. If I can find the time to swap helmets. There it is. Yeah, that's actually... It's actually kind of better at suppressing them, the one that's closest. It 
also doesn't make nearly as much noise. Look at how effective it is at, at keeping a vampire away. Really makes me wish for better hybrid gear. Hybrid armor sets. This is just this is just a vibe at this point. Seven more minutes of this. You dare laser at me? Ow, 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 jeez. Yeah, extra defense doesn't matter that much. I'm not trying to shoot this guy, I'm trying to spam past him, but he doesn't want to let me do it. Okay, so it's kind of hard to finish off uh, the Frankenstein with this weapon, is the main downside. Have I got all the drops that I could possibly want from the Solar Eclipse? Assuming there won't be any moth runs, I think the answer is probably yes by now. And again, I may as well get banners so that it'll be much more easy next time. the bubbles. I feel like Razor Blade Typhoon would be a bit stronger when they're this bunched up. Definitely. We got at least two death sickles. Let's see, 66 melee. Uh, it's not bad, but it's no flare on. I heard that laser, I was looking for it to dodge it, but it was too quick. Uh, three and a half minutes until this nonsense stops. Is. 
this is getting out of hand? What? I just got an item called this is getting out of hand. It's gonna be a bad pun, isn't it? more minutes of this. Let's try not to die. We got the shell. I completely forgot that was a thing. Can we combine that with the werewolf moon thingamajig. One of the NPCs is going to die if I don't get that off screen. Pirate has uh, a good weapon. Ow, didn't even see that. Those vampires occasionally get absolutely caught by the bubbles. today. That's a zombie. Um, are they going to stop spawning? Is the music going to change? Okay, make up some of that money that we lost. That's 1.5 plat right there. We got our third tsunami instead of some wings. Uh, Duke Fishron mask, Lamau. Uh, Moonstone. A couple of paintings. We got a lot of shells, actually. And where's this, this is getting out of hand item that we picked up? Oh, it's a painting. I thought it was going to be like the slap hand or something. I was looking, I was sort of, but not really looking forward to a terrible pun. Okay. Uh, which does this combine with? It combines with the sunstone. I think we need Gollum for that. Don't need more metal detectors. Uh, death sickle goes through walls, but other than that, I don't think it's very exciting. Uh, we've already got enough megaphones, I'm pretty sure. Fritz Banner, Creature from the Deep, Swamp Thing, and Dark Mummy is not actually relevant. So 
sell the spares. Should really sort out my inventory. Uh, it would probably help if I used the Sorcerer Emblem while I was trying to m make the most of Razorblade Typhoon. Still, 123 magic damage. I could have sworn it used to be higher. Uh, I'm really not excited about Death Sickle. Let's just sell those. Requiem is a painting. Never mind. I might keep the fish run pet thing though. Where did I just put my... Oh, it's in here, isn't it? And another Tempest stuff. Okay. Let me try out the DPS of this thing with the proper gear. It would help if we could see. Ow. Literally no idea what hit me there. Well, it seems pretty good up here. Maybe I just forgot how strong the uh, solar eclipse is. Okay. We've got two truffle worms left. Shall we try to get the wings? I think we've got like three actually. Yeah, three truffle worms. I'll try Razor Blade Typhoon with all of this. Actually, I really don't think the uh, Stinger Necklace is doing anything at this stage. Let's go for Charm of Myths. Hold up, where are my minions? Maybe I shouldn't even use minions here because honestly the visual clutter from the Sharknado minions uh, kind of outweighs the damage that they contribute. Oh god, wrong button. Oh no. Um, good thing I had invulnerability up. Halfway done, like sixty percent. That was a very inconvenient enemy. Could have been bad. Am I out of hunter potions? I think I'm out of hunter potions. That's not good. 
We've got one shark fin at home. We'll get one or two potions out of that. And I don't know where Fish Run is. Okay. If enemies could stop spawning while we fight, that would be nice. I really should go the Ranger build for this. It is taking longer than I would have thought with the Razor Blade Typhoon. Although not having to aim is also nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two. One, two, three. One, one, two. One, two, three. One, one, two. One, two, three. Would you die already? Two, three. Okay, Razor Blade Typhoon actually sucks for the final phase. Because it can't keep up with him. Give us some wings. We got an Aqua Scepter. Uh, okay. 185 magic damage? Oh, and I just realized we don't get the bubble gun from Duke Fish Run anymore. Um... I thought maybe there would be like a weaker version of the bubble gun when I found it in the dungeon. Uh, and then a stronger version of it. But they kind of swapped it around. Instead of... Instead of the bubble gun being from Duke, it's the Aqua Scepter from Duke. And the Aqua Scepter is insane now. 185 magic damage. It doesn't work underwater though. <laughs> Uh, but it does... Oh, wait. I was trying to use the flamethrower. I thought I'd put this here. Uh, it does work underwater. And it... Deals tons of damage and pierces everything. Um... Yeah. That's pretty good. Took an awful lot of Duke kills to get it. And we still don't have wings from him. Uh, I do have Hunter Potions, so why wasn't I able to see? We may never know. Okay, we got two more Truffle Worms. Let's hope... We can get some... I should have switched to Ranger. Oh, that was dumb. I'll definitely switch to the Tsunami for the last part, even though I don't have Ranger gear on. Random Soul. Oh, that's a... that's a tornado. Sharknado. I feel like I'm getting too comfortable fighting him. I'm not worrying about... controlling his movements and timing with the... Uh, Sharknados anymore. to the bow. You can see him so much better this way anyway. Let me out. Uh, 
Okay. Final phase is... Go? Here we go. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, and there, that's it. Even though we weren't wearing ranger gear, that was so much easier. Okay. So, wings? No wings. Ah, we're down to our last truffle worm. Good luck. I'm really getting quite used to this. Although I guess it's not... Um, we're not wearing media armor and using Crystal Storm at the moment. So it's not like we've gotten that much better. And again, the ease with which I'm avoiding the Sharknadoes and stuff for the most part. I think the not taking damage for one hit just like that is giving me a false sense of being good at avoiding it all as well. Okay, I think my flipper potion ran out. One more, and down we go. Almost died to space probably. I'm stuck. Good timing at least. Where's my grav potion? Two minutes. Give or take. Okay, time to switch to the bow. Oh, and that's the end. One, two... One, two, three. One. One, two, one, there we go. I almost got messed up at the end, whoops. Uh, I almost got messed up at the end by the Sharknado sharks coming in from a mile away, messing up my dash, Harry. Uh, but luckily it didn't quite work out that way. We still don't get wings. That's a little upsetting. We've literally killed him like 10 times or so. Uh, I guess I'll swap this out for the Duke Fish Run trophy. Uh, and that's it. I'm not going to fight Duke Fish Run anymore today because... How many times am I going to do it on stream looking for the one piece of loot? Um, but we did get... I wouldn't have even known that the Aqua Scepter was so powerful and in the drop table. If we'd gotten the wings sooner. So now we've got like a flamethrower equivalent for Mage. That's kind of nice. Um, let's put our gear away. Let's do a fishing quest. Let's calm down. I've ran out of uh, endurance potions as well. Grav potion. Uh, toxicarp. 
I don't know, I kind of like the Toxicarp a bit better for a quick free weapon compared to Flareon. Just to block bats and stuff. And I guess we'll put the other helmets in here. I should make some more hallowed sets so I can just switch, or at least one more hallowed set. Switch between mage and ranger. One button. Uh, we need how many? Hallowed bars? We just need a chest and a pair of feet. So, 24 plus 18, 42. That's kind of a lot. That's like... I think it's two... I think it's still only two um, boss kills, though. Now let's do that fishing quest real quick. I think it said caught in honey. What the heck is that sound? I can't hear it anymore. There it is. Let's go hand that in. Honey absorbent sponge. I think we've got one. Yeah, we do. We need the water absorbent sponge to complete the set. That's a lot of shrimpy truffles. I don't think I've sold any of these yet, or maybe just one. So we've killed Fish Run at least eight times. Looking for the wings. The Razor Blade Typhoon. And that's pretty much it, to be honest. I was I got Tsunami the first time. I didn't know that the Aqua Scepter was there to look for. I think I'd like a roll other than Ruthless on it, because if we can get plus speed, it'll effectively have more range, right? Plus speed, there it is. Should be a little bit easier to use. Celestial, not really. Deadly, damage and speed, I guess is okay. It's not very expensive to roll it though. I've got 6.3 plat still. Mythical, there we go. Uh, let's get a mythical razor blade. Oh! Yeah, just like that. Perfect. So we got Unreal Mythical, Unreal Mythical. Mystic Rainbow Rod is fine, I guess. I haven't actually used the... Wand of Frosting. How about Ruthless... Tempest Staff? Oh, I went past it. That's unfortunate. I should have gone with the Masterful as well. Let's go a bit slower. Celestial. Godly. Is this the thing that I'm going to waste all my money on? Masterful. Let's just stick with that, I guess. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I don't think there's any reason to go to the dungeon right now, is there? I'm trying to think of some other thing, but I don't think we've got an excuse to go after anything other than Plantera at this point. 
We've done the mech bosses. We've done Duke Fish Run. Uh, the dungeon. I think we've already done everything we can pre Plantera. Let me just double check. Make sure that this dungeon is. We've still got pre hard mode enemies in the dungeon, they're getting one shot. Bruh. Oh, we can get souls here. But it's souls of night, which we can really easily farm. Upstairs. How do we even get the truffle on this map, anyway? I guess I could try just making him a home in... Uh, in the glowing mushroom biomes. Alright, so this, this area is totally unthreatening. We're not seeing any... Yeah, we need to come back here after Plantera. Uh, let's try making a couple of mushroom houses. I'm pretty sure up here won't work, but I'd like to try it. I'm going to defy what you're telling me to do, and I'm going to dig up. Uh-oh. Stardust Nebula? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how many mushrooms would I need to make a house? Let's bring it over here. Mushroom, workbench, uh, how about some floor? And a door, and a table, chair. We've already got a table. And some walls. Okay. This housing is suitable. Fantastic. Uh, I don't know if it's going to actually get the truffle to worm... Uh, I almost said get the truffle to worm in. That's not quite right. Uh, get the truffle to move in, rather. Um, but I'm going to build the same thing way up here. And hopefully one of those counts. I see you beat Duke Fish Run, indeed. Uh, we beat him eight or nine times, but we still didn't get the fish on wings. Very unfortunate. Uh, but we did get all the weapons from him, I believe. I'm kind of sad the bubble gun, like the strong bubble gun, just doesn't exist anymore. Uh, but it's very cool that the Aqua Scepter is now OP. Let me see where the bubble gun is. So this right here used to be a drop from Duke Fish Run, and it did insane damage. Uh, it's now 7 magic damage. That's why I'm wearing plus magic damage gear. Uh, so not so strong as it used to be. But the Aqua Scepter? Over 100 damage. That's pretty good. 
Unless this seed is different, I'm pretty sure it has to be a man-made mushroom biome. Uh, I've tried making a man-made uh, jungle biome and hallow biome on the surface, and it hasn't really worked. So I'm going to try this first. It's a lot less effort. Uh, and let's go to the other mushroom biome. Scorch, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can take it into a normal world and fix it. It'll fix itself. Oh, really? So it's so it's don't dig up where these two weapons are backward compared to what I'm used to. Interesting. That is very strange. Uh, I went further than I was supposed to. Let's go back here. And up to the mushroom biome. Fantastic. Uh, and I think... Where would be a good place to put this house? How about way over here? Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Gonna need some mushrooms. The building material. Also, because I kind of like to make the mushroom house in the mushroom biome. I think I already have some walls. And that should be suitable housing. So at the very least we've got a spare couple of NPC homes. Aquaceptor and Bubblegun are switched, Wand of Sparking and Magic Dagger are switched, and their Kate the KO cannon is swapped out for something else, but I'm not sure what. Interesting. Very interesting choice. I would never have guessed that they would make a weapon or two different on a specific seed. Okay. What else should we do right now? I guess we need to start looking for somewhere to fight Plantera, which I'm not feeling terribly confident about. Judging by this space, I imagine up here is more likely to have uh, big open areas where we might be able to fight her. That's corruption. we get some light in here? I'm hoping I can mostly... That, that dealt a lot of damage. What was that? Uh, I haven't maxed out my health yet, either. Uh, I'm hoping I can follow a path without having to dig too much. To get up here somewhere. You just take the weaker weapons into a normal world, they'll reset to their normal stats, and then you bring them normalized weapons back into Don't Dig Up, and they'll retain the same stats. Interesting. So you could have the stronger version of both, if you really wanted. Yes, okay. 
Interesting. Let's get this, uh... Chest, even if it's gonna be crap. But... Uh, I guess there was a third dynamite right in the middle of that wire. Or... No, the, the, the explosion is centered around the edge of this. Where I did remove the explosives. What the hell? What the... I do... I don't understand... How that happened. Uh, can I just go up this way instead? Also, I need more uh, night owl potions. Let's do that. I can only have one? Wait, what did we just run out of? It's day bloom. Uh, well, we have at least a couple of day bloom. Maybe make a couple of rows of Daybloom, because why not? Okay, Daybloom Seed. Fantastic. Alright, 122 day bloom seems a good. And give me some night owl potions. And some shine potions. And some speed potions. And can we have some wrath potions? I'm about to run out. I guess that's it. I need to farm for these ones. Uh, let's top up on regen and iron skin. Magic power. And that's fine for now, I guess. Okay, back to where we died for no reason. Izu Sagre? That is a fascinating emote. <laughs> I'm surprised you can still have Daybloom despite the world being in a perpetual state of nighttime, right? It would be a bit of a problem for gameplay if we couldn't, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, as is light. Fantastic. We actually can get up this way. Can I not hit that? There we go. through here? I actually can. Yeah, the explosion is centered around, like, the hole, the crater, is centered around here. Maybe there was, like, two explosives right next to each other. I didn't pick up any more explosives just now. I guess they get consumed. Well, it did kill us this time. Ow. Rude. What's up in this living tree, I wonder? No. 
another set of feral claws. There's light fruit? Is there? Right under you? Oh, there it is. Oh. Where did my gel just go? And a life fruit. We've got 11 to go before we hit max health. Make it 10. That's a plantera bulb. Hmm. We could maybe drag her along this rail. Maybe. I mean, parts of it are very yes, so maybe if I just get too far from her. Does this go any further? Not really. Nine to go. Yep, another bulb. Eight to go. Did they make these more common? I hope so. Give me an Uzi. I guess I wouldn't even be excited about a uh, Mega Shark at this point. We've got Tsunami. Mega Shark can't compare to that. Can't compete. About the extent of where this goes. Ouch. Okay, so... If we start Plantera around here somewhere, we might be able to get around her depending on which direction she comes from. Head up this way on the rail, fight her until around here somewhere, and hopefully turn around. That's really sketchy. Uh, if I run through here and stay far enough ahead of her, maybe? Especially if I get back down onto the rail. And especially if I have the fast rail. I don't think we need any more jungle spores, but it's programmed into me to pick them up. Don't forget you need one for the Aegis fruit. I forgot what that is. If we get too far from Plantera, I think she despawns as well. It's over here. Another bulb. Another death trap. That's a dart trap. That's a dart trap. Is that everything this time? Only one way to find out. There we go. Out 
has a big eye. Um, I guess I could explore more up that way. It's worth a try, killing Plantera this way, I guess. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We're not playing hardcore. Spiffo Plush summons Spiffo the Raccoon. He looks like a... Is this a reference to some platformer game? He very much looks like a platformer character. Spiffo? Is this a meme? I love Spiffo. Don't get the reference. Let's give me those statues. I love Spiffo, he my pet right now, okay. I'm just totally lost right now. Double heart? What does it mean? Ouch. Oh, that's an open area and a half. What do we have here? It's not quite... It's not quite a free uh, Plantera arena, fortunately. the sound of when we hit the underground jungle that just kicked in, the music. Uh, give to me the life fruit please. We got two. Fantastic. Five to six to go. I dug a barrier around most of the map to block off corruption. It only took like five hours. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I guess I'll just pop this Spelunka instead of worrying about carrying it. Oh, look, uh, another hive. Ouch. I don't see as many angry trappers as I'm used to. Did I lose my Night Owl or something? I think I did. There's another life print. My inventory is way too full. That's a bit better. Four to go. Okay. We oh wait wait. We are getting generally bigger, more open areas as we go further up. 
Um, but I don't know that it's going to get much better than this. But that said, we should probably keep looking for the biggest, most open area to fight Plantera in. Funny story, first ever angry trapper I killed gave me an Uzi. Nice. Didn't like it, so sold it to the merchant. I mean, if you already have Mega Shark, Uzi's not too exciting, I think. Uh, it's kind of a side grade from Mega Shark, though, that you can get without killing any mech bosses. And that is not nothing. I don't have room for the chlorophyte. actually just need one more. So we should get it before the Spelunker Potion expires. That is a very weird looking dead man's chest uh, trap wire. Oh my god. Just quadruple... Uh, Quadruple boulder right on top, uh, like all next to each other. Seems good. Um, alright. I'm just gonna leave that there. We're really not finding much in the way of open space up here so far. This chest really wants you dead? Yeah. Um, let's hurry up and get our last life fruit before the timer runs out. These summons are actually great. Give us the deeps and they suppress the enemy. Didn't get a turtle shell, rip. Up we go. You have to go out of your way and uh, use a pickaxe to trigger Plantera so you don't have to worry about it with the uh, weapons. That's a lot of lava. I think this general area might be as good as it gets. Which is not very good. Okay. Why don't we just try it? Um, I'm going to still use the Hallowed set because it's by far the best. Or Glass Cannon. I don't think I really want to change anything with my loadout at this point. Hold on, aren't we able to get Avenger Emblem? Let's see. Where did I put all of those extra summoner emblems? Here we go. Uh, 
Uh, five souls from each mech boss. Yeah, we can get another damage buff. And... Bud Summoner Emblem. Do I need... Wait, what am I missing here? What kind of crafting station? Tinkerer's Workshop. Okay. So that's plus 12% increased damage, and it's totally class agnostic. Let's get menacing if we can. Jo Jogo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Warding, eh... No, I want menacing. Can we please not run out of gold first? Warding again, and we've got seven gold left. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, where's the extractinator? Here it is. Stack those away. Sell that. Sell that. And I guess the pet can go in here. Uh, we're gonna need some armored cave fish and preferably some more life force potions. We can get both of those fishing in the hollow. We also need some more wrath potion. Um, that stuff's not as difficult to fish up. We've got the corruption biome just to just next to the jungle for that. While we're here, we may as well use fishing potions, uh, and we'll need some bait. Armored cave fish, that's exactly what we're here for. gonna take a bite while we do this. Oh, I was muted. Whoops. Lady of the Lake. We got a painting from fishing. Ouch. Spicy chicarons? Chicarons. It seems like crates are a lot easier to fish up. There's our prismite. We've still only got one armored cave fish out of this. There we go. Another lady of the lake. I 
I should pop those uh, chaos potions that I'm able to make right now. See if we find something. Oh, I like how those, uh, those pixies are stuck. That's two more, two or three more enemies that are keeping the maximum number met so that we don't get spawns shooting us in the back. Prismite is useful. Yes, it is. It gives us the life force potion. Oh no. I just missed something. Uh, but yeah, 20% increased max health. That's not small. We actually just need one more life, uh, life fruit still. We're getting a lot of Prismite, actually, this time. A third Lady of the Lake? I've never fished this up before, but now... Three times in one session. Seven Prismite? Okay. I really just came here for Armored Cavefish. There we go, that's four. That's a decent haul. Couple more minutes and we'll go fight Plantera. Well, first I'm going to pop the Chaos Potions and find the last uh, health upgrade. Come to think of it, Rod of Discord would be ridiculously good against Plantera. Because the whole thing with her without an arena is not getting caught. Just don't pull up with every bite, just the ones you need. The time that it takes to get another bite, we could have just pulled up what we already pulled in. When we've got fishing power this high. It's literally just like almost exactly the same amount of time if we skip it. I think this is actually faster. Yeah, I'll skip this one, unless it's really good. Okay. And we could have had a... We could have just had, like, two more items there. It's almost the exact same amount of time. It makes a lot more sense with, like, lava fishing, especially if you're doing it with, with uh, finite bait. But we do have practically infinite bait. It's not the slightest trouble to get more. Alright, 45 seconds on our fishing pots, and we'll start gearing up. I also need more bacon, but that's just a matter of spending money and like a minute. Hey, we finally got our fifth armored cave fish.
This spot's actually really, really good. The way it gets enemies trapped around the edge of the screen. Okay, last one. And the fishing potion actually ran out. Is it not going to bite? There it goes. Alright, give to me the souls and stuff. Is that another soul? Otherwise, if not, I'm going to not bother with it. Okay. Does bacon give you tier 2 buffs or tier 3? It's tier 3, and for 24 minutes. Really, really good. Um, and it's actually the only, as far as I'm aware, uh, like, reliable source of tier 3 buffs. That's the Lady of the Lake. Um, Alright, sell the stuff. Don't sell the Armored Cave Fish. The rest can get stacked. Armored Cave Fish becomes Endurance Potion. Uh, Prismite becomes Life Force Potion. Fantastic. And this becomes Regen. Oh, we got three. Uh, and we need some Wrath Potions, which are much easier to fish up, or rather the ingredients. Fishing, bait. I think I didn't clean out my void bag yet. Yeah, there's still a few things in there. I might not even bother with the uh, fishing potion here, because this really isn't difficult, usually, to get Evan Koi. I stand corrected. Uh, we can see our fishing power, right? 66. I think it tells us now if there's a penalty based on the size of the pond. There's our Ebon Koi. And two Ebon Koi? Okay. Three Ebon Koi in a row? Alright. Uh, if we get five pretty soon, that'll be enough for the moment. Then again, we're not using a fishing potion, so we can just leave whenever we like without wasting anything. I would like at least one more, though. There we go. Okay. Uh, Wrath Potion. Fantastic. Another Aglet. We've got two spares. Let's put the bee gun away. Probably retiring that. Definitely retiring that at this stage. I 
don't know if that's our only Neptune shell. Let's make the Chaos Potions, or Teleportation Potions. I should just get some more chests for the accessories. About here. Oh, I accidentally swapped that for Shadow. Never mind. Oh, I do have some random teleporter potions already. Save a pink pearl if you get one. Uh, I've got a black pearl, but as far as I know, there's no way to get any ladybugs on this uh, seed. So I can't use it to make a luck potion. Shimmer upgrade, I see. Oh yeah, we haven't found the shimmer yet. I have no idea where to look. Uh, why don't we try looking for it this way? Let me just put this up here, because I, I like to have my damage things next to each other. Uh, so we found some more corruption and glowing mushroom biome. We we found some more corruption again. Really, really deep underground corruption. But I don't think there's anything too exciting over here. We're on the surface. That's not so good. Uh, we found a spider biome. Thanks, I hate it. But this is a good opportunity to get the stylist, which we still haven't found. Oh, and there's a spider. Uh, I really should get some light while I'm here. Where is this? Okay, basically the middle of the... Not the middle of the map, but kind of closer to the jungle. Probably pop a hunter potion if I've got him. Don't want to not see a spider coming. Should do this to double check my corruption coverage. It's not the worst idea. And you never know what you might find either. But apparently we can't find a stylist. Um, or even get a single spider to spawn, which is very unusual. Oh, there's a spider. Okay, so if the black recluse can spawn, I'm pretty sure the stylist can spawn. So we just need to keep moving stuff on and off screen. The cobwebs come back kind of fast. Is that a geyser? No. Didn't know marble or granite biomes existed until it went forming the corruption wall, indeed. Normally, I wonder if they changed it or something. Normally spider biomes spawn enemies ridiculously aggressively. But we're getting nothing. Well, I don't want to stay here all day. If we don't get the stylus to spawn in a moment, uh, I think we'll move on. And at least we know where to come if we don't find another spider biome. I'm 
I'm surprised how used to not having a double jump I've gotten. This lap, let's get out of here. Teleportation, we've definitely been here before. Teleportation, I haven't been here, but it's not very exciting. Teleportation, we're on the surface again. Unfortunate. Wait, how did that not hit me? I wonder if I just got the uh, defensive buff just in time. Worms get absolutely clapped by Razor Blade. Alright, let's go. We did get a whopping six Spider Fangs. Evasion Croc? Yeah, it might have been. Uh, Teku, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Roro Lucid, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. I think you have to go outside of the biome and back for NPCs to spawn. I think you have to be in the spider biome uh, in this case, but they have to be off screen, basically, and there's not a whole lot of moving around we can do there. Um, but also the spawn rate of the spiders was way below... I'm used to. Vile powder can be stacked away. Spider fang, I'm pretty sure just goes into the armor and maybe a couple of staves. Yep. I'm not going to bother with that one this playthrough. I think. Uh, glow sticks, get out of here. I wonder if there's anything new you can do with glow sticks. Nope. Let's get some more bacon as well. Give me the pig granatas. Oh, that's not a whole lot. Don't we normally manage to set it up so that we just hold it, hold the button in one place? Whatever, this is fast enough. I've only got... I got two bacon out of that, that's actually unusually good. Uh, do I have a storage for the party bullets? I don't think I do. I should probably save them. B bullets would be fun. <laughs> remember correctly, put it in there to farm it. What's up with the chlorophyte in the ground? Yeah, I put it there to farm it. Uh, in case we want homing bullets. But I haven't actually bothered harvesting it yet. Okay. So, I'm going to attempt... I I'm not expecting great things here, but I'm going to attempt to start uh, Plantera around here, kite it up this way, go up here so that we can get a bit of distance and come down this way, and then back here it might be a bit more difficult to turn around. Um, 
junk, but we'll see what we can do. Alternatively, I could try to farm up a... Oh yeah, I haven't even been here. Why is the Goblin Tinkerer in a different house now? This is not valid housing. Because why? How is this not valid housing? I don't... I don't see a single difference between any of these. The only change we made re This housing is suitable? What? This housing is suitable. This is not valid housing. Why? Because I because I put two chests in here? It, is this a joke? What? What the? Since when? Why would you do that? Locked door, maybe? No, that's what I thought. That's why I checked with the Tinkerer's Workshop out of the way. Um, I don't think it even matters. Yeah, the blocked door allows it to be suitable housing. It's literally just having two chests. Not enough available floor space. This housing is already occupied. You might be right. That could be it. Okay. Let's get in... Or rather, on the rail. It's not that he might be right, he is right. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't talk in terms of complete certainty. Whenever there isn't. That's all. NPCs need at least two blocks. Hold on. As is light. NPCs need at least two blocks of floor to stand on, and some wacky things can make the floor count as invalid. Like a chest, apparently. Very weird. Uh, I haven't seen the message that the truffle moved moved in either. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, but yeah, up here I actually made a hallowed area high enough up specifically so that we could get some chaos elementals. I think I saw one. No, that was an illuminate bat. Oh, there's our first Chaos Elemental. And Rod of Discord does not drop. Um, I remember it was like literally the first or second Chaos Elemental when I was playing uh, Calamity that dropped the Rod of Discord and I was so excited. Um, and then I found out not only could you just buy it, but it was horribly nerfed. My disappointment was immeasurable and my day was ruined. What did we get? Oh, he's still alive! Another Illuminate Hook? That's like our fourth or fifth one. And we still haven't had a Daedalus Stormbow. It's hardly even relevant anymore. But still. Point two five percent chance. So they in so they increased the drop for it. 
I'm surprised how slowly they're spawning though. Normally you can't get Chaos Elementals off your back. That's Terraria for you, right? Wait, what is Terraria for you? One in 400 in Master. Yeah, and that means you'll have to kill 1,200 to maybe get it, usually. Um, but what's really getting me is the atrocious spawn rate here. We've got a... we've got a water candle as well. Just don't want to spawn. I thought Expert Master doubles the drop chances over Classic. Uh, I think that's about right. I don't remember the exact number. RNG is really fun. <laughs> uh huh. Speaking of RNG, we'll be continuing with XCOM in a couple of days. Waiting to see who gets killed for. I mean, finishing the campaign with nothing but flawless victories. Killed about 900 on my save, no rod for me, yeah. I mean, considering we want to kill Plantera without digging out an arena, it would be a huge boon if we could get the rod. It's also such a massive quality of life improvement. We've only seen one Chaos Elemental, haven't we? Like, never mind killed, seen. Why can't I dash into that? Huh? Oh, there's the tiniest bit of dirt here that we can't see. Okay. I thought the rules for going uphill changed and I didn't even notice somehow. Hey, there's our second one. Rod of Discord, go. No rod of discord. Feels bad. Um, it would probably help if I covered enough ground to get enemies to despawn as well. Do I have a hammer? I do not have a hammer. When all you have is no hammer. Let's bonk that around. And bonk. Uh, how far does this go? Pretty far, actually. Oh, no. I don't want to play with you. Stop it. Uh, you know what? I think this is far enough. Let's get the hammer. And bonk that. Alright, so now we'll automatically bounce back and forth. And we just need to go far enough to find a... We need to go far enough for enemies off-screen to despawn. Uh, but just slow enough that we don't just speed straight past any Chaos Elementals. I think I'd like to get some Hallow over here as well. Oh, nasty. You can just re-log for fresh spawns, but that's way slower. Rod of Discord? Nope. 
let's grab ourselves a piece of pearl stone or pearl sand. Oh, hello. That's awkward. Uh, and we just want to bring some up here-ish. So that'll spread. And there's a chaos. There's no rod of discord. Who could have predicted such an outcome? At least we're getting a few souls of light. We do need a few. I think I'll head out in a minute though. for a place to fight Plantera, but we're going to try this, even if it's pretty sketchy. Alright, we've got our summon, clairvoyance, we've got all the buffs, we've got the minions. Uh, we've got the empty void bag, question mark? Not that it matters for the boss fight, really, but... Is this really our only... Ooh, corruption key. Just when we're going to fight Plantera. Nice. Uh, that's our first turtle shell, apparently. And yet another feral claws. I'll just sell all this crap. Keep the apple pie, though. Take care, Stardust. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks for the good luck. Alright, sell, sell, sell. Um, I want to double check that's not our only Neptune's shell. Nature's Gift, we need some regular mana potions, or a regular mana potion, in order to upgrade it. I think it's double lesser mana and like a glowing mushroom or something. Yeah, there it is. Mana Flower. And what does the mana flower go into? Oh, he was playing... He was playing rock, paper, scissors with the slime. Uh, putrid scent, star cloak. I don't think I have another star cloak. I haven't actually made a mana cloak this playthrough. So we'll hold on to that. Uh, and the tin shell can go in here as well, I guess. Okay. Here we go. Probably with regrets. Could we maybe find the last, uh, life fruit before we do this, though? 
one can hope. As is light. I might have seen life fruit down here. Or I might be deluding myself. life fruit be. Uh, we've already been here, this is where we're going to start the fight. That's not a life fruit. Oh, that is fantastic. All right. So we're going to have, I think, 600 max hit points when we fight. If we can stop all these spawns, um, I really should bring... I've got 33 potions of return, let's pop one. Uh, I really should bring more buff potions. Especially calming potion. Uh, thorns might help, titan might help. Especially if there's... if we bump into minor enemies. Hunter potion... Uh, is required. Archery, because... We should probably use Ranger for this one. Another 10% damage. Thorns Potion. Danger Sense won't help. Uh, Mana Region. Do I want to do Magic or Ranged? I know the Tsunami can really own for direct damage. And I guess for hitting multiple things, we may as well just use Mage as an off-class off attack. Um, I'll keep the magic power. Can I quick stack? There we go. Mana regen as well. Don't think we're going to use Featherfall. I should probably use the Horseshoe Balloon, to be honest. I really don't want to get stuck somewhere. Obsidian Shield is kind of required uh, for this one. I think that's more important than the double jump. We do not want to get trapped because we just barely touched one of Plantera's limbs. Heart reach might be relevant. Um, I guess we could lower the spawn rate even more with invisibility, but I'm not going to go that far. We've definitely got more Bozars than we need. Uh, Jungle Rose is literally just a vanity item. Wait, what? Oh, it goes down here. How do we make a calming potion? I think that's Princess Fish. Or is it Damsel Fish? For damselfish, we need sky fishing, which is a little... It's probably not much of a problem at this stage, but it would have been really terrifying. Uh, terribly difficult to do before. We did do a little bit of it previously. Not me? 
Why no damselfish? What's wrong with that? Uh, I think we're about as ready as we could be for now. Let's go with... Hallowed... Headgear? Oh! Oh, I was wearing it- I was wearing the helmet the whole time. This is... awkward. Um... Well, I might put that in the money trough. Or at least the, uh, the safe. There's still room in the money trough. Let's just do it like this. And here we go with a probably doomed attempt, honestly, at killing Plantero without an arena. Okay, here's our bulb. She's coming from the right, that's not good. So I need to get around her. Can we get through? Yes we can, fantastic. Um, I'd like for her to stop shooting through the walls, that would be nice. I need line of sight where I'm going to get a few good hits if I'm going to have her shooting at me. If I damage her... Oh! Okay. No, it makes her spit at me. Okay. Um, where am I going to get a good bit of damage on her and continue kiting? Is the question. We don't need as much space as I thought I did at first. Here is good, I think. Yeah. And then we rush past this way. And then we take our sweet time. I think we don't try to get damage on Plantera while we're... while she's going back and forth between these two spots. We basically just try and get a bunch of damage on and then run away to the next open area. Unless we could go around in circles here, which, no, it's too small. Um, our DPS, though. Okay, now it's on. She's gonna stop with the projectiles, at least. Don't get caught. That's the main thing. Where is she? And... ouchie. Well, this is a lot more feasible than I thought it would be. This is actually working very well. Ow, ow. I, I was gonna die if I didn't kill her there. Uh, I should probably just bounce off the edge of the rail. Rebound. Uh, but that's Plantera already. That was way easier than I thought it would be. Thank you. Baylone, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I've got all my buffs active, but... Oh, I still had 21 minutes on bacon, apparently. I would have thought the apple pie would get consumed first. 
Uh, cool. Okay. Should we do it again? Do we have a... Do we have a handy bulb? That's not too handy, but yeah, that'll work. I mean, assuming we don't get trapped on the way. Oh crap. Oh no. No, 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 no. How much deeps can we get before running away this time? A bit. Could you stop shooting, please? Nope, never mind. Ow. Oh, there's the bulb that I was looking for. The region is actually more valuable than I thought. And we dodge. And ouchy. And then our minion ruins everything because we didn't want Plantera shooting again yet. Alright, now we swap sides. Fantastic. I think the fact that the rail dips down there like that um, has actually been a very big help. Also... Since when can we get this far away from Plantera in the first stage without it resetting? I don't know if that's the seed or if that's new. But I'm all for it. Oh, she's on her next phase. Now we run. Oh, I don't have... Uh, what's my mana button? Whoops. I just wasted those buffs, is what I would say if I wasn't fighting Plantera. Did they just straight up nerf Plantera? Because I could have sworn she used to be a lot faster in this phase. Yeah, like that. I guess when she gets closer, she gets faster. showed that we could do it twice. Hopefully we get some good loot. Uh, let's go home actually. I think that's honestly a better setup than I normally have when I actually build an arena. Maybe. Somewhere we got a tattered B-wing. Uh, we got two bags. We've got a plantera pet. What's this? Grapes. Wrath not included. Temple key. Spore sack. Those are guaranteed, I think. We've got the Venus Magnum, uh, which is not too bad. Oh, wow. Was it always this fast? That's 95 range damage per shot. And it's a high velocity bullet. Damn. Uh, we've also got the Leaf Blower, which is a bit of a meme. It's much, it's much quieter. Oh, magic damage. I forget if this pierces. We also got the Pygmy Staff, which um, probably, 
definitely can't compete with the Tempest stuff. So that's fine. I mean, this is annoying. It's the worst roll, but still. Like, 50-something damage and they can't keep up in terms of speed and projectiles and stuff. Use time increased from 8 to 9 is now auto-fire. Cool. That's actually huge. For the Venus Magnum. Uh, let's sell the extra spore sack. I don't honestly see myself ever using the spore sack. Even with fishing. Uh, and even with the extra loadouts. Um, but we'll hold on to it regardless. Sell the Plantera Relic. We didn't get the Grenade Launcher. Uh, but that's probably fine. Let's go say hello to the temple. What's the fastest way to get there? Probably from the ocean. Because all my teleporters and stuff go up here. Okay, that, that pet is actually really distracting. Somehow I find the fish run not so much. It doesn't... the fish run doesn't look like anything that could be an enemy. Because a mini duke fish run you know is definitely not actually chasing you right now. Like trying to kill you. The cyborg has arrived. Fantastic. That means we can get rockets. I just tried to use the hoverboard that I don't have. Maybe I should make one. That would be a good idea, actually. That would be a very good idea. I'll do it after the temple, though. Oh, wait. I need Shroomite, which means I, me I need the... Uh, I need the Truffle. Which I don't know how to get to appear on this seed. Oh, this is jungle biome, according to the torches. Interesting. Uh, I'm not loving the lighting here. Good grief. Even with perfect lighting, the... Uh... We've got a shine potion active right now, and a night owl. This is just how black the brick walls are. Alright. At least it's easy to see the enemy. Not so easy to see those spikes. It looks like it's going to be as easy as usual to get through this temple. Um, although... Do we not have... Mechanical display forced. Uh, do these things have invisible wires? It looks like they do. It looks like you can't just cut all the wires now. Okay. So the traps are actually traps. No danger sense? Uh, I might have some danger sense. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Uh, there's no wire. Like, we've we've got... I'm going to cut everything. There's nothing here to cut. And I also can't move this. Can I remove the touch plate? I can. Okay. 
So there's that, at least. That calls for just swiping all over with it to break everything? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can't do that with the wires, though. Like, we used to be able to. And if I was really serious, I would turn off Gibbs, because I cannot see where this touch plate is. Seriously, where is this touch plate? Don't tell me it activates if I open the chest. No? Okay. Oh, was it this touch plate over here for some reason? possible. Give us all the loot. Maybe I should use a Spelunker because these chests are so hard to spot. And it wants us to pick up all the statues as well. I did miss one. No, I didn't. Alright, that should be about all of it. He just picked up the pressure plate? Yeah, I can do that much. safe to stand on a table. Ow. Sneaky touch plate. Luckily, it only hit us for our free hit. Some of these traps do hit like a truck, so... Usually the temple's really easy, but I want to be a little bit careful. Now, oh. I think there's like two touch plates there? Or not? Ow! Rude. Now, 174. Yeah, that's why we're going slow. Can you not go in the temple before now? Correct. Um, you need the temple key from uh, Plantera. And if you try to, t if you get rod of discord and try to teleport in here, it doesn't work. It might work if you place a teleporter, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did something so you couldn't do that. Um, there's a, uh, what is it called? Hoiking? I think you could probably still get in with hoiking unless they removed it for some reason. Hoiking is too good of a meme to delete from the game, though. What 
is this worm? Get out of here, spikes. Oh, you sneaky sneak. You're actually a big worm. Uh, we must be near the end of the dungeon by now. Actually, no, I can see that there's another layer. Thanks to Danger Sense. I guess these statues can be used to spawn lizards, otherwise Danger Sense wouldn't show them. Or was that... Uh, Spelunko. Where's this touch plate? I do not see one. Oh, that's a mimic. I thought it was weird that there was a gold chest here. Ow. That's a lot of spikes. Be gone, spikes. this random slime from the pot. Ah, jeez. Okay. All right. I see how it is. Don't dash. Don't dash. Don't dash. Don't dash. Do not dash. Ow. Let's just heal here for a second. Fun fact, it's entirely possible to get solar tablet fragments and lizard power cells free hard mode. Yeah. Relogic has officially acknowledged it as a feature. Nice. For hoiking. Spelunker's gone. Feed. Uh, so Spelunker does appear to show the statues. You know. This temple's looking kind of big, though. Like, really big. Now I can't see where the touch plates are. Not a good spot. Oh! Stupid dash input. Now I gotta wait for those spiky balls to disappear. Gauge how big it is? Um, well, the fact that we've got jungle down below suggests this is finally the last floor. Ah. 
There goes my free hit. Oh, my danger sensor's run out. Let's fix that. I can't believe we've been here for 10 minutes. Well, I kind of can, because the traps are actually a bit scary, and... And the temple is huge, actually. Definitely the bottom of the temple. No more lizards are spawning because they're all up here. What's this? A painting? Lizard King? I wonder what that looks like in normal lighting. So I get the feeling... This is These are probably the same graphics as usual. Oh no. Stupid dash. I did want to dash, but I didn't want to go quite as far as that, so I guess it's on me. Oh, rando slime. Can we get to the end of this dungeon, please? Is this it? I think this is it. This is our arena. Yep. What is all that? That's a very unusual vape. Go home well, Chen. You are drunk. What hit me? I think it was this trap up here. There's probably one more touch plate. And there goes my light. Alright, so the dungeon, uh, the temple rather, is no longer a complete pushover. That's kind of nice. I might just put down... Let me get this painting back. Oh, that's nice. Angry Trapper through the floor. So we have an idea of where the edges are now. we maybe get a door over here or something? Let's see, wood. Can they bust through a door? It'd be very nice if they couldn't. find out. They're trying. It looks like the answer is no. Fantastic. Alright, let's get some lights in here. actually see where that touch plate is still. Enemies will still spawn here, but it won't be as bad. There it is. 
Alright, I think we're able to get to the point now where there are no more environmental hazards. It's a rather small arena though, especially for how huge this pyramid is. Uh, but that said, I think if we use our usual trick against the golem, it should be fairly easy. See the pressure plate, indeed. Uh, Duckus, Alceris, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, uh, we need Rav Potions. Which I've mostly got here. Can we just stack all of this stuff? Not that. And... Grav potions. Weren't they in here? I guess not. Cool. Um, I'm not going to worry so much if I use more potions than we need. I'd rather overdo it than underdo it. Want to know a bit of a cheesy strat for Golem? I do know one. We're going to use it right now. I don't think I need the menacing shield, uh, the shield as much, but whatever, it's fine. Alright, here we go. We're just going to stay on the ceiling. Try not to get hit that much. We're on to... I haven't killed the... I should have used Razor Blade Typhoon for the first stage. I'll do it now, actually. Should have killed the hands first. And try to kill him before we die. Whoops. Okay, and judging by the fact that we can see the wires now, I think we won. Ow. Let's stay on the ceiling until we can calm down a bit. GG, indeed. The best strat is don't get hit. If you cover him in honey, he practically can't move, really. heard of that one. Okay, that's the end of those distractions. We've got our health back. Let's start farming him. And this time actually do it right. It looks like it's nowhere near as easy as it used to be to make his fists uh, just go back by dealing one damage to them. His fists gone? Not just yet. Alright, back to the bow. It really is a little bit cramped uh, compared to what I've seen before, but... Oh, grab potion ran out. Uh, but it's still not too difficult. Let's get that damage on. 
till we reach and do it again. They sound upset. Okay, here we go. Slightly weak razor blade typhoons because we're not using mage class. I guess uh, if I was serious, I should have a mage loadout. But it doesn't take long to get rid of his fists. The end? Nope. Alright, time for bow. Close enough. Could you... Could you calm down? How many more of these do we have? 18? Uh, I don't, I don't know if we need to kill him 18 times. What is, what has he dropped so far? Uh, Stinger, Shiny Stone, I don't really have room to open the bag again. Uh, is there anything I could drop? Kind of. Another Stinger Shiny so Stone? Really? Golem Fist. Uh, let's drop the Throwing Knives. You have the Pixor, you can get back in easy. Yeah, that's true. I should make a Teleporter here, because it's quite a journey. There goes my grav. Or maybe I could just aim for the fists a bit more. I don't think that's going to work that well, to be honest. Okay. Ow. Does mean I'm not concentrating on movement as much. Ow. I thought touching the head didn't deal damage. It was actually only the lasers. Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. about one more before we go. I could use this, I guess. Uh, it's not going to be as good as Razor Blade at this angle. Clapped. 
There we go. Alright. Oh, and there's two treasure bags on the ground. Let's do something about that. If we can. Uh, how about shiny stone in here? Flying snake banner over here. And corrupt torches, get out of here. Also, I could take this with me now if I want. I should probably do that. Um, Pixor. Well, I don't need the hallowed pickaxe anymore. May as well sell it though. Also, worm teeth. Uh, unholy arrow is not too exciting. Pixor goes here. And. Silver bullet is dismissed. Alright, are we actually carrying everything back? Seems good. Fantastic. Are you planning on ever doing Zenith Legendary Difficulty Arenalis? Uh, I might have to eventually, I guess. So, did we only get Stingers and Golem Fists out of this? As far as weapons go? Yeah. What else is there? I can't actually think of anything else. Um, kind of blanking on it, to be honest. What kind of pixels do we have? Large and ruthless. I'll take the large. And stinger bolt. Well, there's really nothing exciting directly from the golem, except the shiny stone is kind of nice uh, sometimes. If you want to just sit somewhere and gain some health. Actually, if I can get the... Uh, what is it called? The tank? The toy tank. It's, it can be a pretty funny meme. Possessed Hatchet, that's right. That's not that great. Not too worried if we don't go get that. I still see no Clentaminator. Steampunk wins though. wings, though. I imagine they're a bit better than Demon Wings. Three Platinum? But they're so cool! Uh, they're going to cost a million to re-roll as well. I'm so tempted. Steampunk wings with the shiny mage get up though. Um, let's put all of this stuff away. Lizard power cells can go in here. Uh, Lizard Altar, I guess, can go there as well. Sell the all but one of the Fists and Stingers. You could get Fish Run Wings? I tried. We killed him, like, eight or nine times, literally. Um, he, he just wouldn't drop them today. Uh, I guess this can go in... Piggy? Oh, I've got a million shiny stones. Let's sell those. And 
we can just buy stinger bolts if we're going to use this. As long as we have the stinger, someone will sell the bolts. We don't need the pickaxe axe. Capable of mining lizard bricks, you don't say. Um, we don't need a spare pick saw. When did we get all these beetle husks? Oh, that's from the, uh, from the golem, I forgot. But we don't have a single, uh, turtle item. We've got, like, literally one porter's shell to make the prerequisites for these things. Um, but this is the tankiest armor you can get in vanilla. Free moon lord, at least. Um, alright. I'm gonna sell those. Don't care about the grapes. Cross necklace can go in here. Add these to the weapon collection. We have plenty of beetle husks. Uh, I don't see myself wanting to summon the Eclipse, but we've got that option. Ooh, let's go get the uh, Corruption Chest thing. I think it is technically a melee weapon. But it shoots a projectile and then uh, really, really fast, and then a bunch of other homing projectiles come out of it. Melee, by the way. Where is the corruption chest? Is it even deeper into the dungeon where I still haven't explored yet? Ice chest, hallowed chest... I don't remember seeing a corruption chest, though it's been a while. Yeah. Beetle armor? No, not just pre-moon lord. Yeah, that wouldn't even surprise me, to be honest. It was even tankier than post-moon lord. Straight up the tankiest armor in the game, indeed. If you play on, uh... I think Expert would be the highest. Uh, if you play on expert difficulty, use the beetle armor against Moon Lord, it actually makes it pretty easy. Definitely doesn't work on Master though. Do I have room to put these in here? Kinda yes. I don't need double pwn hammer. Don't really need any pwn hammer at this point. Oh, that is where we keep a hammer though. Completely blanked on that. Alright, let's empty all of this. Chests go here. Lizard furnace is only for special crafting. Statues, chairs, whatever. Temple key is not worth anything. Solar fragment tablet, I believe, is only for making solar uh, tablets. Yeah. Uh, do we need the lizard crafty? What's it? Nope, just a mithril anvil. Tablets. Fantastic. I'm just gonna get rid of this. And tattered bee wing. Do we have any souls of for light? We have 14. Well, I know where to get some more. I'm pretty sure the bee wings would be... Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, summons. Thank, thank you for helping. It looks like it didn't start the boss fight. I 
never noticed the lanterns in the sky on this seed before. <laughs> After uh, beating a new boss. Okay, I need to get up to where we're going to meet some wyverns. But I also need to not instantly die by going to space. Ooh, Deathweed. With seeds. I think we've already got that maxed out, but whatever. Maybe I'll just burn a grab potion. We can make these easily. I don't know what I'm even worrying about. Okay, Wyvern, show me what you got. I got a try and get it through my head that space is below me right now. Oh, I don't think we want to do a Martian invasion event right now. That seems a bit scary. We need to be really overpowered for that. Can't catch those. There we go. Uh, how many souls did we get? Probably enough. Well, we're gonna have enough now. Fantastic. Back we go. Once I grab these feathers. Uh, where are the souls? Here, here we go. Plus tattered B-wing equals B-wings. Fantastic. And can we get warding? That, that'll do. I'll keep the demon wings. They're kind of nice. Harvey UK. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many bosses to kill before completion? Um, I think one, two. If, if we're talking about technically boss fights, it's literally just two. There's the cultist, which is... Don't get cocky, but it's like one of the easiest boss fights. Um for how strong you are when you get up to it. Uh, and then we have to do the Pillars and the Moon Lord, which is definitely some of the hardest parts of the game. And I don't even want to think about what the Pillars are going to be like on Don't Dig Up, not to mention the Moon Lord. That might be a whole thing to figure out how we're going to do that. Okay, didn't put the damage potions away. I kind of want these two next to each other. Uh, and we don't need this many shiny stones. We should be able to fly higher with the B-Wings as well. They kind of go well with the, uh, the Rune Robes. Let's harvest our Deathweed. And 
harvest this as well, actually. Because I want to spread the deathweed. I've got plenty of blink root in another location. That seems fine. Okay. I can't even go for Shroomite armor, even if I wanted to. I just don't know how to get the truffle to show up. I guess I could try building on the surface. I don't think it's going to work. We tried building over here to make a jungle biome, but I think the ocean took precedent. I guess we have the power to more easily build up in the sky, not to mention I've got a ice rod lying around somewhere. Here it is. So we'll need some mud. We'll need some glowing mushroom seeds, which I haven't hoarded at all. So I'll just have to pop all the mushrooms until we get some. Nothing? Oh, we did get one. Um, often, uh, often what I do is build a glowing mushroom biome on top of the dungeon so that we can teleport there, but um, it's covered in corrupt sand this time, so that wouldn't work. We do have a teleporter there regardless, but more importantly... Dripping water. Even the clouds are like corrupt, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's go have a look. Don't shoot them. Alright. Shield of Cthulhu really is OP. I need a grab potion. There we go. Yeah, this is all like corrupt and stuff. I don't think I've been to this one, though. There's our shiny red balloon. I think I had to fish that up. Oh, no, it was wings I was trying to get. Ow. Um, that's not a... Wait, what? What is the clothier doing there? What? Are you... Are you having a giggle? Oh, the, uh, I don't know if that's if that's where you want to move in, actually. This room is missing a mo- Oh, he got teleported with me. <laughs> and he's dead. I probably shouldn't have gone and had a look at him. What was that metal sound? Oh, it was a hammer. Flying hammer. Can I glide upside down? 
Yeah, it looks... Uh, no, it doesn't seem to work. As long as we get the way of it going. Without running into space and dying. Okay. Um... Yeah, this is all... Even the clouds are all corrupt and stuff, so... We would have to... Could, could you be persuaded to stop? Thank you. No! He gave his life to distract me. Well played. I thought I was falling at the time. Okay. That was a bit of a waste of half a grav potion as well. Um, I guess I could try building up here. A little bit further from the corrupt grass. I'm just going to have to build in the sky. That was the initial plan anyway. If I can make a home for the truffle here-ish, it means I'd be able to teleport and do some sky fishing much more easily. Balloon goes in here somewhere. Actually, just combine it with a cloud already. Actually, don't do that because we already have one. No, it was White Horseshoe Balloon. I can't remember which... It's probably Blizzard in a Balloon combined with Horseshoe. So Cloud in a Balloon we didn't have yet. Uh, anyway. Let's go to the ocean. Um, let's have our minions out. Let's have some light. Let's pop a grav potion again. And get far enough away from the ocean. So that we could hopefully make a biome other than ocean. Really, I just want to go high enough above the ground here. That it won't count as a corruption biome. Oh no, I quick stacked the mud. Uh, I think I quick stacked the mud. Okay. Potion of return. Let's grab our mud. Apparently, I have glowing mushroom seeds stashed somewhere as well because those are no longer in my inventory. Uh, where am I keeping the seeds? Here we go. That's a lot of glowing, uh, of mushroom grass seeds. I'm hearing space sounds. It says surface, but... I don't trust it. I don't know. We'll try building here. Now I'm hearing corruption, so this we need to go a bit higher. Whoa, okay. Alright, let's try building here, I guess. Could, could you... Could you perhaps cease? Thank you. Thank you. I think it has to have a door, and what I really should have brought was some mushrooms as well. Uh, let's make the ground here. Make it double thick. 
that'll maximize the speed on average at which the glowing mushrooms spread. I do want to be able to see both sides of it from the middle so that we don't have monsters spawning. I seriously have my doubts this is going to work since we're hearing space music. as good as it gets for having this spread quickly. There's our first glowing mushroom. Pop another one of these. Bring back some glowing mushroom this time like we should have done to start with. And start building... shelter. Maybe make it a bit taller. It's the wrong way around. I want it to curve up like this at first. Three, and then two, and then one. And then, well, that's more like three and then one and then one. Three. Uh, let's make this a bit shorter. Hey, I'm hearing the, the biome music that we need to hear. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. Two. Two, three. Two, three, four. Is that going to be the middle? I hope so. How many tiles is that? Whoops. Don't kill me. Uh, eight inclusive. One, two, three, four. Eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. Uh, that's the wrong way around, I think. One, two, three. And I think that is actually symmetrical. Fantastic. Alright, mushroom workbench, mushroom chair, mushroom candelabra, mushroom door, mushroom walls, and mushroom chandelier if such a thing exists. Then again, there's no center tile, so we wouldn't be able to put it in the middle. I don't think there is a mushroom candelabra. A uh, chandelier, rather. This housing is suitable. Very nice. Let's get some more 
Mushroom lanterns. That looks nice. Wait, is that lopsided? It's not lopsided, is it? No. No, it's perfect. Um, what time is it? 7.45 p.m. I think it needs to be daytime for him to move in. I don't see any more mushroomy things I can build. It's mushroom torches. That looks kind of nice. Yes. Well, um, I think we're going to have to wait till morning. Unless... Sundial. And does it stop now? It does. 4.30 a.m. Perfect. I should have done a fishing quest before I did that. Caught in desert. Well, we're just waiting for the mushroom to show up anyway, so... Doop -doop 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 -doop. Oh, there's our Scorpio fish. Fantastic. Uh, and we got nothing, nothing new. As we usually don't. I hope this is enough to get the truffle to worm it. Truffle to worm in. I said it again. Truffle to move in. How difficult was that? Lobsters can go in here. You can get in my inventory. Uh, this can go in here. I don't think we need to carry these old summons around. In fact, we could probably just sell them at this point. I'll keep them in the collection. Okay. There's nothing I can do to hurry up the truffle spawning, right? Apart from make sure it's daytime. Which I th think applies to every NPC. I don't think there's exceptions where, like, the truffle only comes at night or something. There's the truffle. Fantastic. Okay. I should probably make a pair of homes up here so that we can teleport there at will. But I just went and designed that... Uh, that mushroom house with only one room. I guess I could make another mushroom. I can't really split this down the middle, not without moving all of it to be symmetrical. But more importantly, my son? Aww. Uh, more importantly... You're selling Dark Blue Solution, but I don't think we can get a Clentaminator on this save. Uh, more importantly, we got the Auto Hammer. Which means... We can make... Shroomite? Uh, which means... Something, probably. We can make Shroomite armor. I don't know if I necessarily even want to do that. But I think there was some other reason I wanted to make uh, Shroomite, wasn't there? 
Oh, we still don't even have an adamantite forge? Or a titanium one? Wow. I was actually going to just, like, fish up. Like, I, I, just as a meme, I wanted to do this without breaking any demon altars. But we're still, despite getting almost all of this all at once, we're still three titanium ore short. The traveling merchant has arrived. I think he's here. What do you got? Nothing I'm interested in. Well, we don't actually technically need this anymore. Um, the truffle doesn't have to live on the surface. It's just to get him to show up. Constellation. Whatever. Um, I kind of don't want to break demon altars for literally three titanium. And we'd have to go looking for the titanium regardless. So... So what if, what if we did some fishing instead with some crate potions? I think I've got one left, but I can make some more. Crate potion requires amber, that's why we were farming it. And considering what we're short on, I think I'd probably like to fish for Ebon Koi. Contaminated is unobtainable in this world. That is cruel. Alright, let's do some fishing then. Actually, does fishing power help that much when we've got crate potions or what? I might just grab the master bait instead of the 35% snail bait this time. We've got a lot stashed away. Usually, uh... Usually the corruption would kill the jungle as well. I don't know if that's a change or if that's this seed. It would dry up the mud. And without mud you can't have jungle. The chance of getting a crate is not affected by fishing power, but the chance of getting a better crate is, really. Okay. Um, so we're going to go... Fishing... Fishing, 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 and fishing. Fantastic. We're literally just trying to get three titanium. But who knows what else we might get. And it has to be three titanium ores specifically. Either that, or 30 adamantite ore. I can't believe we've come this far without an adamantite forge, actually. Then again, uh... Hallowed armor and Duke Fisheron items are OP. I get a lot of purple clubber fish out of this. 
Those eaters, though, on this save, uh, on this seed, they're big enough that the graphic is a little bit blurred. Titanium crate, fingers crossed. Actually, we don't have luck potions. As far as I know, there's no way to get them, so we may as well see if we get it. Never mind. No luck so far. I don't think we can get titanium out of a pearlwood crate. Maybe mithril, but I doubt it. Another titanium? Can I open it from here? I don't think so. Mithril bars. And it's literally just because we want to smelt some chlorophyte. Which is optional, honestly. I think if I were to ever try speedrunning Terraria, I would skip it. I would skip all of the hard mode ores, except that we need a little bit of Mithril. Oh, Mithril or Aurichalcum for the anvil. Which we could get more quickly by fishing. Hallowed armor is pretty crazy. I think I would probably take Hallowed Armor to Moon Lord. Let's just open these. Just want to see what we've got already. Yeah, I, I don't think those can give us titanium. It has to be a titanium crate. Oh, our crate potion's done. There we go. At least we're going to have plenty of ebon koi after this. If you know where, this, where the shimmer is, you can toss titanium ore in to get adamantite. That's good to know, but we, we have adamantite uh, bars, and we have titanium ore, so I couldn't do it that way. How should I go about finding the shimmer anyway? Is it just keep looking at a certain height? Are there more than one in the world? In the world? I'm guessing it's like about as high up as the temple almost. It's always on the jungle part of the world. Height is unpredictable. Oh, so just... Just explore the entire jungle? The jungle side. Oh, okay. So it could be anywhere in here. This whole area. Kind of looks like I have glowing horns. It's always near the very edge of the world. Okay. I guess I could start digging down from where this um, marble biome is near the ocean. I'm guessing the Shimmer has its own light source, and it's kind of hard to miss if you do 
dig past it, yeah. Got another titanium crate. And... Nothing. I really don't want to have to break demon altars and go looking for titanium just for three ore, but it might come to that. The entire background will turn to stars when you're close to it. Very interesting. The thing is as well, I'm pretty sure I never smelted any titanium. Uh, yeah, I couldn't have. And I mean titanium or adamantite, rather. You need the titanium or adamantite forge to smelt titanium or adamantite, don't you? So we're, we've literally just been three short to get that thing the whole time. Eight seconds. At least we have plenty of Ebon Koi. Whoops. Okay. That's the end of that. Quick stack. Quick stack. We also get some random potions. Some of which can be relatively hard to obtain. And titanium? Your titanium. Feels bad. And we sell purple plubber fish, one gold. What if we sell it to you? One gold. I thought you are happy. You are happy. Okay. Um, I don't think we need any more climbing claws, but... Did I just remove the slime from here by accident? I did. Which slime was this? Can't even see it. Nerdy slime, probably. Okay, Ebon Koi makes Wrath Potion. 48, fantastic. Tossing a life fruit into Shimmer gets you a permanent defense buff. Wow. That's actually huge. Even if it's only like four or eight or something. Um, let me just put the Ebon Koi in here. What have we run out of for potions? It's actually glass bottles. Well, water bottles, rather. Glass bottles. Water bottles. And those go in here. Wrath Potion goes wherever. And we're not done selling this stuff. We got one, two, three, four uh, Tsunami in a bottles. A couple of Vile Thorns. Some gold bars. Uh, a whole bunch of mana potions below the level that we're using. Mithril bar, platinum bar... Unfortunate. Band of star power, I think that's our first one. Uh, maximum mana go up, 
If we combine it with Band of Regeneration, we get Mana Regeneration Band, which is still a material. And can this do anything new? Magic Cuffs, those are bad. But they are a material. Um, I don't remember them being able to be upgraded into anything. Let's take a peek. Also, I shouldn't still be wearing my fishing gear. Could you take these clubber fish off my hand? Thank you very much. Uh, let's take the shackle. So both of these just become magic cuff. I'm not overly excited about mana regenerate because it only kicks in when we're not firing. Although if we want to tap it at effectively no mana cost, it does mean we get a higher rate of fire that way. But let's see, magic cuffs combine to make Celestial Cuffs, I forgot about these. Yeah, this is crap. Pick up range for mana stars, restores mana when damaged, plus 20 mana. That's a waste of a slot, in my opinion. For defense? That's about what I thought. For the Shimmer, no doubt. Uh, apparently we ran out of flipper potions. I wouldn't need any flipper potions ever anymore if we'd got the fish run wings after 10 tries. Still can't believe we have exactly 27 titanium ore. Um, oh, we need the, we need the Chlorophyte for the good mage gear as well. There's also the post Plantera dungeon to check out. We should probably do that. Let's head on in. And before I forget, actually... Or rather, before I leave without it, let's bring the corruption key. Oops. And we need to go find that corruption chest, which I'm pretty sure is in the deepest, darpest, darpest? Deepest, darkest depths of the dungeon. Say that seven times fast. because I can't find it on the map, and I usually mark them like this. Also, tossing a pharaoh's mask into Shimmer gets you a sandstorm in a bottle. Pharaoh's robe gets you flying carpet. Interesting. Is the Shimmer part of a regular playthrough? Or is it just this, uh, this kind of seed? The upside-down seeds. Let's try not to underestimate the hard mode dungeon. Part of all the worlds now? Nice. Uh, I should probably not mess around. I should be using my buff potions down here. Let's take every water candle we find. We don't want to be messing with high spawn rates, higher than normal. For the dungeon, normal is very high. Although I'm not seeing them as much right now.
Wait, what? I still went past all of this? Let's just dig through. Oh, there's a chest. I don't know when it happened, but we're at the point where Silt does one damage. Alright, this is actually exactly the part of the dungeon that we haven't been to yet. So that works out. This is the desert chest. We do not have a key for the desert chest. Oh, and there's the jungle chest. Ouch, ouch, ouch. It's only one damage, but one damage that gets rid of our free hit can actually be a pretty big deal. I don't even have some proper ranged gear on me, apart from the bow. But that's fine, I guess. Whoops. those water candles. That's definitely a trap. Um, we're running out of dungeon. I think that wire suggests there's more dungeon over there. Yep, here we go. Could you stop with the not breaking consistently? Please and thank you. Fantastic. Should be more dungeon down here as well. There's... that's not the chest we're looking for. I can't believe how big this dungeon is though. Ow. Could you stop? Thank you. Oh my god, it can shoot through the wall. And silence with the same attack. Bruh. We got a jousting lance? I heard a shot. I could have been a sniper. It was a sniper. That could have killed us. Okay, up we go. We don't get a sniper rifle. Unfortunate. What just hit me so hard? Oh my god. Nope. Shimmer is found in the outer fifth of the world in the underground or cavern layers. So... Well, normally this is the cavern. I mean, not normally. This on this seed. It's probably at least as high up as this, considering this is where we had to go to get depth meters. So it's, it's probably in this area somewhere. Uh, let's get our shiny stone. Let's stack all of this crap away. We got some ectoplasm, which is what we need for the, I think the best pre-moon lord mage gear. Spectra bars and chlorophyte bars. We also need it to summon uh, the frost moon and the pumpkin moon, which we need if we want certain high level weapons. Uh, why don't we put this fishing stuff away?
I was going to say sort this out while we're regening, but it's actually already done. And I need a flare. Hold on to the blue bricks. Alright, back we go. Looks like there's nothing here. Menacing what now? Oh, Magnetsphere. That's actually a pretty good spell, situationally. Don't you be sniping. And don't you be silencing. Just how big is this dungeon? Okay, doors are good. I like doors. They obstruct the view of snipers. each ocean is approximately a fifth of the world? Wait, what? Each ocean? I think there's some crumbly block here. Oh, you know what I should do? Danger sense. I hardly ever use danger sense, but oh, that's so much better. It's actually so much more dungeon left. I'll be taking that. Can we get through? There we go. Finally! We found it. Um, so there's still some drops to get from certain enemies, but in terms of, uh, other than those random chances, could I maybe, there we go, I don't have a key. Uh, other than those random chances, I think we've got everything we can out of the dungeon for now. Demonic Scourge of the Corruptor, 109 melee damage. Yes, melee, that's what this is. Um, and it actually... Uh, the shots bounce and hit things all over the place. And I think the shots are homing as well, after they bounce. At least assuming all the data I've gotten is accurate. Okay. Uh, give it a rest, minions, please. Need to see what this weapon is like. Yep. Yep, they become homing bees. Just spam that everywhere. It doesn't get much better than this. For a weapon that needs no mana or ammo. Of course there'll be stronger things eventually, but that's sort of beside the point. Oh! Prismatic Lacewing. Um, are we supposed to like... Are we supposed to summon the Empress of Light down here? That's insane. I hope it's just possible to summon her upstairs. Maybe you're expected to make a hollow biome. I wasn't expecting that. Let's have a look. I know it's a material, but I'm pretty sure that just means we can put it in a jar. Oops. Crafting, cosmetic lace swing. 
as far as I'm concerned, you're not just supposed you're just not supposed to fight the Empress of Light. Yeah. I don't know how. I, I really don't know how you would do it on this map. Um, unless you can get her to spawn up here. And even then, she's hard enough. Um, without the low gravity and the top of the map instantly killing you. Also, would it... I I'm guessing it would count as daytime just depending on, on the time of day like normal. Probably. Um, so was it, I need some glass. And we can make terrarium. And I thought it wasn't actually a terrarium for this one. Whoops. Yeah, it's just a regular bottle. Um, where did the glass go? We have 285 here. Okay. Prismatic lacewing jar. Fantastic. Can't actually hang it from the ceiling. Um, yeah, I think this is the one time I don't fight Empress of Light. Which might make Moon Lord a bit more complicated, actually. Hmm. Might make Moon Lord a lot more complicated. Well, not really. It just means we have to use Grav Potions. It makes it more disorienting. More chance of slamming into terrain or the top of the map. As if we don't have enough problems fighting the Moon Lord. Trying to time his laser and everything else. Well, that's going to be interesting anyway. But for now, that is going to be it for today. Uh, let's see who we're going to raid. Got a few people playing the old Terraria. Um, Zenith Everything Seed Hardcore. Itchy. That's the only that's the only one I'm finding that's at all similar to this one. Okay. I'll probably drop in on meows. Let's just double check we can raid them and uh and chat there. Seems good. Time of day is irrelevant for Empress? So is it just always one hit, or is it the other way around? Alright, let's say hello. Wait, are they AFK? I think they might be AFK. Okay, I think we're gonna look for someone else to raid real quick. Um, Terraria. Interior design master. All right, bet. Peek at this one. Oops.
seems a good. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that for Factorio. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. In a couple of days, we're going to continue with Long War of the Chosen for XCOM 2. After that, it's Oxygen Not Included, then back to some space exploration with Crustorio 2 or Factorio. But in the meantime, uh, let's... Let's drop in on this interior designer. Those buildings do look pretty nice, actually. Take care, Morpheus. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you next time. Uh, and potions in that one. And then decor and furniture. <gasps> Ooh. Tyrannosaurus Hex! <gasps> Thank you so much for the raid! Hello! Welcome in, welcome in.